No, but I feel and I don't know. I mean, we'll discuss it later also for sure. And Devi might know it much better than I do. But to me, Manjumel boys felt like a Tamil film more than a Malayalam film. That is my perspective. Maybe like because um, actually a lot of response is also from Tamil Nadu. I think greater no, no, response than than from Kerala. That so, is true. That is true. That is, that is true. Also, yeah, yeah. one reason. No, I yeah. felt like emotions were very broad in that sense, <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. which I find very common with Tamil movies in general. Like. Anything that Telugu I too, right? To certain degree. No, but Telugu, Telugu there is like over exaggeration of that mm. thing. No, like when an emotion is public, like in a Dhanush film, if you watch, mm. uh, let's say any good Dhanush film or something, Dhanush Chitram Balam, let's which, say, which are quite a lot actually. Ah, so, uh-huh. yeah. so mm. you will see that emotion, which is very normal, but it just explodes itself. That's mm. what I felt in Manjumil that way. But you... generally, what I have observed, again, my knowledge is very limited in comparison to Devi, of course. In hmm. Manjumel, like in Malayalam movies, the this emotions are little more subdued, you know. Hmm. Just very felt. They feel a little controlled, even though like I like most of them, but in general. But Devi, what I was very fascinated by is this like Malayalam Malayalam film film lovers or cinephiles, their love for Tamil cinema, like that's a thing, From right? Before, like, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like Thalapati Vijay is one of the biggest Tamil stars in Kerala. Yes, yes, yes. Why mm. only Tamil? Even uh, since you mentioned Vijay, actually, I saw a po- post recently on Instagram um, that Allu Arjun is celebrating twenty mm. years of Arya. So yeah. Arya was a huge yeah, yeah. hit in, hit in uh, Kerala. Kerala, and it, he was such a huge star. Uh, and still now also it's because of Arya that most people relate to and love yeah, yeah. Alu Arjun and uh, that time uh, nowadays we have subtitles then then mm. we didn't have they, 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 these were dubbed versions mm. so uh, the songs were also dubbed and uh, <laughs> but those like, were yeah. one of the good ones you know not the uh, crappy one crappy uh, dubbed versions <laughs> i have seen arya believe me believe me devi i have very hard time finding the good parts of that movie but... <laughs> no 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 yeah, i was talking but, you about know, the song a yeah, great yeah. allu arjun film to till date for me is july july have you seen yeah. it yes no yes, no yes. i haven't seen that yet. Have you amardi you might know the hindi title is dangerous khiladi i think okay. oh yes <laughs> yes 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 i have seen it zee cinema i think yes. so i think yes. so that movie I love. I yeah. I can watch it any number. <laughs> no, I, because I rewatched last year. I was doing that Hyder, that Telugu film, right? So I was mm. surrounded by these like you know full Telugu fanboys, you know film cinema mm. fanboys. So at times you would just keep on watching like some film would be playing on the TV in the hotel room while mm-hmm. you were preparing, mm-hmm. and on we were just playing Allu Arjun movies in the background. Some days it was that um, Sarai Nodu. Which yeah, is, sir, I know I think is massive. So, sir, massive. I know is massive. That yeah. movie was playing. So then some other movie was playing. Then July was playing. So it was just a thing that Allu Arjun movies were playing in the background all the time. Something was playing, even though like the volume is high, low, and some. And at at moments we'll just stop and we'll just notice something in the middle, and hmm. then we'll get back to our work, like whatever we were doing. <laughs> very weird, but yeah, that's how it is. But that's that's also a very fascinating quality and how how the, the how they make their cinema. Uh, like you can pick any scene. And it will still get into the story somehow. Yeah, yeah. That is very. Um, I don't know how mm-hmm. they do it. I mean, it's a. I think it's skill completely in based. I think it's completely based on like making every scene entertaining and not correct, just. Correct. Like, I was about to say that. Yeah, Start not to just end. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. not just like making it making it sound so pretentious, like some sort mm-hmm. of a you know Raju Hirani Abhijat Joshi version of everything. You know, <laughs> every scene should work. No, no, उतना सोचते नहीं है ये लोग. They, they just, just make the scene. Give it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Feels like that. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Queen is Dead. I am Sanjeet. I have Amartya and Devi with me. Uh, back again doing the Malayalam round part two, um, where we talk about two recent films and films that have turned to be massive blockbusters in their own sense, uh, not just commercially, critically, and you know, just reaching out to a larger part of audiences. Those films, if you are reading that, if you are on this episode, you know from the title which films we are talking about. They are Avisham. And uh, Premalu, uh, Premalu released in February and then was on Hotstar in in March, and Avisham just landed on Prime and was in cinemas in the month of April. Um, both were incidentally produced by um, Fahad Fazil, Fahad Fazil, Fahad Fazil's production house, and I mean I don't think so. Dilish Potan is part in. Uh, 
I don't think it's part Avesham. of Avesham. Hmm. Ah, but Anwar Rashid is part of it. Anwar Rashid is yeah. But um, also before we move on, ah, uh, if there are new listeners to, to this episode, make sure you follow us on Spotify. It helps us reach out to more people. Ah, uh, you can follow us on also on uh, YouTube where we do live streams every Monday. Uh, thank you so much for that. You can also follow Devi on her Instagram page at Film Trans. Now she started doing reels in collaboration with Immersive Cinema as well. So make sure you check them out as well. I mean, I've been asked to plug all this in the beginning rather than the ending. I was saying we'll we'll do the initial thoughts and then we'll just deep dive into our normal conversations, spoilery things. I although I think there is nothing to spoil in general. Um, we'll give us small initial thoughts, just what we had expectations, what we thought, how we felt about the film. And I think Devi, you can go first with Avesham. What did you think? You watched in cinema? Yeah, yeah, I watched in the theater, and I mm-hmm. just rewatched it today <laughs> for this podcast. I just rewatched that same, uh, same uh, through OTT. So, um, actually, um, I I remember speaking about uh, Roman Jamin. Uh, I think it was immersive cinema podcast when we were mm-hmm. discussing twenty twenty three movies, Malayalam uh, mm-hmm. films. I I don't remember if it was. Uh, queen is dead or uh, immersive cinema in one of the podcasts i was discussing mm-hmm. this and uh, romanjam was i mean it felt very different uh, mm. the entire approach to it uh, it was very it was very fresh so mm. uh, i was thinking last year um, last year we had quite like um, sim- I, i wouldn't say similar but uh, we had some very good films then also like kanno mm. squad and uh, uh, then correct uh, something i'm not again Bunch i'm not of yeah yeah i'm not comparing but something uh, like in a commercial uh, if you if you see a commercial from a commercial mm-hmm. point of view rdx was also a good film correct uh, very fun yeah yeah uh, very fun film so i was think i was and i was talking about how uh, you know this is one of the best times and this is one of the best years for malayalam cinema yeah and, uh, you come to 2024 and just a uh, four to five months Blast. into that yeah four yeah, yeah, yeah. four to five films are just you know a commercial success is commercial and critical successes whether it is manju mm-hmm. mere boys avesham premalu mm, even mm-hmm. brahma yogam brahma yogam brahma, was, exactly even yeah. brahma yogam something like that subject worked like massively yeah yeah, yeah correct and mm. uh, even rdg with them which was like uh, came with so much of expectations so mm. uh, avesham i felt Uh, there were uh, initially there were there were a lot of talks uh, about how it is it could be a sequel to romanja correct spin off <laughs> yeah spin off of one of the characters right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. even now people are trying to find some easter eggs links okay? <laughs> links and things so um, but it's not because the director had told like very clearly he had <laughs> he had you know correct. uh in one of his interviews he was telling so yeah, uh, but yeah. both these films are based on his experiences from bangalore bangalore correct mm. and um actually while we were um, talking about uh, tamil and the telugu films just before the podcast i was mm. thinking about this because most of those films when you know uh, seeing a malayali set outside uh, you know uh, placing them outside their homeland like outside kerala somewhere mm. it uh, gives a, a gives a very you know a, a, how do i play point it how do i place it like uh, reaches out to more people in yeah, that universe yeah, yeah. becomes more accessible in that sense and more relatable mm. to a wider audience mm-hmm. i think for both these films to a certain extent uh, that has also played a huge role the place Correct. the story and how it has how it is so related to the culture then uh, even if you talk about avesham the language even that heavy accent of you know kannada and mm. malayalam that we speak even the, with that with that heavy kannada accent i absolutely loved it by the way how yeah yeah uh, the, the, the correct rhythm the correct meter of it you know so mm. i absolutely love that so um, i think that is also one of the reasons why you know you can relate to something like avesham and mm. it's a uh, uh it's a, uh, maybe because it's taken from you know real life experiences and real people mm. and then you fictionalize okay. it so that has a that has an additional beauty to it so mm. uh, 
see uh, initially when i saw that uh, i was thinking about the story when i was in after everything when i was coming back uh, on the way i was just thinking see how in in that sense it could be slightly absurd also see how that story is about even that one thing of mm, of three college boys going mm. from bar to bar <laughs> in yeah, yeah, yeah. of a gangster correct uh, that sweet... devi believe me it's not so absurd <laughs> it isn't really <laughs> no but like it does feel like very idiosyncratic like why like someone would go take those steps you know when no. you are in like your no no year. i don't think it's more gangster i think they were looking for more like rowdies right like local yeah, support like mm-hmm. local, yeah, local yeah. support yes, yes. yes. but yes. then um, see that's a, that's the thing with something with an idea like this it can go both ways Yes, but then uh, once you treat it i think with premalo also i have the same thing to say because when the treatment is what you know matters exactly. in both these mm. films premalo mm. premalo i too have a lot to say about because the treatment of that movie is very much like my speed more or less but yeah uh-huh. like, <laughs> i am not a huge fan of from com <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i appreciate yeah. Uh, I do appreciate uh, what uh, the director has done with Premal also. So mm. uh, coming to Avisham, so initially mm. um, ca- going with that uh, romantic effect and getting into Avisham was like very very different. Like I-, I was expecting something because I don't usually see these trailers or teasers. Mm, same. Try not to. Mm. So uh, it was it was such a blast <laughs> just uh, in from yeah. the I think. Um, Twenty or thirty, if twenty or thirty minutes into the film, you get uh, Fahad Fasal's introduction. Correct, scene. correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around twenty minutes. And from minutes. <laughs> from there, I would, I mean, it picked up on a very different level. Um, yeah, yeah. And and how they have, I mean, in fact, placed it in a bathroom, in a in a urinal. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, completely mm-hmm. like upside down yeah, with yeah, the. Yeah. Hmm. with so, those kind of yeah moments uh, th- and i was totally immersed and if, to be Same. very frank mm. um, more than anything it is the exploration of that character without mm. you know without uh, you know uh, making it very obvious oh see we are talking about him this is you know, just uh, turn your attention towards him no mm. it doesn't say it like that very explicitly but still mm. you you feel for him there is the that this frankly because and his performance was also so good uh, just yeah. uh, no mm. uh, drawn to it uh, yeah. uh, in fact i was recently watching uh, an interview from fahad fazl actually fahad fazl is the as you said as he is the connecting point he is the producer of both the movies and he has acted Correct. in one of them Mm. Uh, Dilesh and um, Sham Pushkar is also the, they are also producers of uh, Premalu. Premalu, correct, correct. Sham Pushkar and was Sham Pushkar is in Premalu and yeah, he yeah. he has made his acting debut yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but, uh, yeah. Was your was your experience a little different while watching on OTT this time, like today? Avesham, I was equally excited. <laughs> was same, equally, same. Yeah, the same That's, Avesham. <laughs> in, like I watched, I I played it in the morning. I think the first thing I did in the morning, I actually got up, I brushed my teeth with my breakfast. I started watching the film, and I was <laughs> okay. had the exact same excitement, exact same reaction yes. to every moment. Yeah. So I mean, and for me, like the experience was same. Same. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Usually they say when it is when it comes in the OTT, it's difficult to appreciate and accept. Yeah. It. I don't know whether it's because I saw saw it in the theaters first, or I don't know why it is that I I I viewed it with the same amount of excitement and I felt the same actually. And same, even same. The, and now now I <laughs> this time I um I know I I had a closer look uh with respect to the fight scenes and how interesting mm. you know how interesting the choreography. Mm. With, uh, you know each movement was and i i recently saw another interview from a from a production designer of avesham mm-hmm. uh, her name is ashwini kale okay ha huh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, ashwini kale so i never knew that this um there is this mayuri bar is actually a set set <laughs> mm-hmm. so they had gone to a lot of places uh, for the right setup and finally they de- decided to make a set and uh, even the uh, how the how kutti's gang they have a specific um, area right they take yeah, the yeah, boys mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. 
uh, there's a gaming zone right they are actually mm. gamers uh, so uh, even that how they have set up so she explains all this in an interview nice. uh, just listening to her and how important uh, production design is and things like that even costumes so many things you know mm. now now you look at uh, various angles uh because uh, because you love the film so much you are still trying to explore you are still trying to see yeah. okay what more what more is there Same. and yeah. uh, to be frank <laughs> last time we, I, when i was speaking in the podcast i was telling about mammootty and how mm. his choices were you know as a producer as an actor <laughs> and probably this year if we, if we do a you know round table i'll be talking about fahad fasil and his job <laughs> yeah <laughs> because uh, excellent as a producer and as a mm. as an actor i'm mm. i'm looking forward to his you know new films whatever same he same same do. he has a bunch lined yeah, up yeah, he has yeah. a bunch lined up four yeah, five yeah. i think two mm. telugu films also back to back he's mm. doing i think yeah pushpa to i think uh, no 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 with um, rajamouli son yeah, he's Rajam... two films with him yeah yeah oh is it yeah mm. yeah yeah, yeah. apparently it is not pushpa to is the least least interesting <laughs> yeah, yeah. movie all of us are just <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Amar, yeah. what did you think amartya of the film so uh, so brief background about me i live in a sheet hole of a town so you can understand that avesham ka to koi chance hi nahi tha aane aane wale yeah scene ya so <clears throat> i had no expectation zero so I think there are two movies that came out this year which when I saw on OTT I think I realized that the theatrical experience I think played a massive part in so much critical acclaim because hmm. I think OTT significantly takes away from the communal experience one 100%. was Madgao Express one was Madgao Express another is Avesha <laughs> yeah 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 I think OTT takes significantly takes away a portion of that experience yes it does because like don't like i'm not trying to be you know uh, negative negative jolly about this or anything like that i gen- i enjoyed the movie but i know for whom i enjoyed it i enjoyed it because like fat fasil is impeccable in this movie he it, it's very hard to create a over the top character without making him caricaturish he's cartoonish but he's not a caricature hmm very there is a very fine line between that and he mm. pulls it off effortlessly like that scene in which he enters the room and he's dressing and the music is playing and he's dancing you know you are not laughing at him <laughs> you are laughing with him you are laughing him. with the yeah. joy of watching him dress yes yeah you are not laughing at him because the comic part is not that you are supposed to laugh at him the comic part is that look at this guy look at look at how chill he is look at what he is doing that's funny yeah and that is uh. exceedingly hard to mm-hmm. for that you need a level of confidence and of course a briefing about the character i think part of the reason is also i think the screenplay regarding the character itself what the screenplay had given him was very clear mm-hmm. like fasil is a very gifted actor i'm sure if he's given a bare bones skeleton structure of a character he can pull it off and create something new out of it he's a very gifted actor but yeah like this character i'm sure screenplay matters a lot to this character mm. itself because this character has so many like wrinkles about it very small small wrinkles i'm not saying layers because this this movie isn't a very layered quote and quote movie it's not supposed to be also but it's mm-hmm. it has so many different wrinkles that like some of the things you can only get from a screenplay so like like i can understand it again this is like a very specific form of nostalgia and also it is like you are mixing two very separate genres right you are mixing mm. a college like a coming of age college college genre whatever query coming of age genre with gangster genre correct that can go and like, in the bigger scheme of things action yes. comedy action comedy under the big umbrella of that, under yeah. the big umbrella like malayala movies have tried action action comedies it's no this is not their first rodeo right they mm-hmm. did thallu malla which, which which is like another weird wacky stuff by the way mm-hmm. great great visually great like yeah. story story mein kuch nahi hai like visually great and then then you had rdx which like i think anbadi was the stunt director of rdx and the movie also yes mm. 
that movie had also like great stunt sequences but overall the story was a very templatized normal as a if mm-hmm. story so that was fine i think in case of avesham i think the central idea was great i think overall the central concept of it like that was a very ballsy premise overall itself like you are trying to mix it because there's a juxtaposition here right so antithetical to each other and what could become of that like a coming mm. of age to a gangster genre there is always a fine line in which which of the mixture will overpower the other i mm. think the balancing part from an idea perspective the balancing part is great i think mm. from an execution standpoint i think the coming of age angle or the college student angle wasn't as effective to me as the gangster angle because like fasil's okay. performance is so good like when he comes i'm immediately engaged when he is hmm. not in the screen i'm not engaged okay, or when okay. he is in the screen or when sajin gopu as amban who is hilarious oh, yeah. by the way mm. yeah hilarious and mm. all his other team and all his all the other members of his crew like the old guy who is a martial artist the two and other the two other yeah. Members, yeah. yeah those amazing amazing like fantastic stuff all those parts so mm. all those parts i'm very engaged on i could care less about the three students and what they are doing and all that stuff it's not again it's not the idea concept i think it's overall the practicality of it but which, i think the which, students also at a certain in a certain way are surrogate characters for us right yeah yeah surrogate like characters we are experiencing but, yeah, yeah. whatever joy what or whatever they, not, not just joy yeah, but yeah, like yeah, whatever yeah. the yeah. feeling like the catharsis them, which right? they are supposed to experience we are also supposed to experience i understand uh-huh. that but yeah. you know it's like i think what you are saying is what i experienced until the first half because the entire okay. point until the first half with the you know climax which is banger of a climax by the way in the yeah. first half that interval uh-huh. block is freaking uh-huh. gorgeous that interval block yeah but and it's also hilarious is i love i love how uh, ranga is ranga is a guy who you know in the beginning he like immediately he's jumping and he's like kill that guy and everything and then he's like following everybody and telling him hit this guy hit that guy and <laughs> like, basically yeah. directing yeah, yeah. him yeah, directing, yeah. he's directing everything and it's it's funny because it's also like if you are going to look at it in a thematic standpoint which you don't have to because again this is not a movie you're designed to look into but if you look at it from a thematic standpoint it's like it's the how a legend of a gangster is built as to what and what the reality actually is mm, somewhere correct correct yeah but but it's not just that i think we can discuss i mean we, we can will discuss, discuss of course yeah, of course yeah, we sure. can discuss but i'm just but saying but i think that does play a lot into what the story is also in mm-hmm. general i mean the yeah, story yeah. is fairly simple so what yeah yeah again the i thought jitu madhavan was yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. what he was doing in that much only to me felt like ha huh, without that core you know theme this story is basically useless than otherwise i think it was aaron sorkin who said in one of his master classes right like mm-hmm. <clears throat> plot is the string in which you hang your clothes on or your clothes are the themes your mm. plot is the string your clothes are all your things yeah. put put too many clothes the plot will sag sag correct <laughs> mm. Mm. so i think that's what sorkin said i think the plotting being like very very thinly plotted is completely justified in this context i just think that after the first half you know mm-hmm. for a fact that there isn't much of a plot or anything and you know that it's in a holding pattern because most of this stuff are vignettes mm-hmm. until then mansoor ali khan section in which he meets reddy like reddy kidnaps them and all that stuff that is one section which is important and then the final 30 minutes Hmm. like in the middle of it all those things are like it's it's in a holding pattern and that's why and that's why even if the movie is meandering yeah. Hmm. yeah even if the movie is somewhat meandering and yeah. i think the runtime shortened slightly hmm. would have helped honestly i think the okay. runtime being shortened slightly would have helped okay again it's like i don't want to be disengaged by this movie because like fast still is so good i mean Immediately in case back into it. No, what mm. I felt is uh, something that mm. uh, he told and about how it's a coming of age film, and it's you know so there are so many themes as he said. So if you look at it from that perspective, you you really it 
it does have these three boys who are just coming from you know their home and like finding their first taste of freedom uh, in a, a different land so mm. that is there and um, but still uh, i i feel mm. like somewhere they are being used as yeah actually you are also tricked into thinking okay it is about them uh, in shri yeah. and then uh, within 30 minutes you figure out no <laughs> it is about someone else something and, else uh, which something happens else. in romancham also correct like, i was about to say exactly. you begin with something else and then it transitions, transitions. to something else so, yeah exactly yeah. exactly so that was my point and uh, how how amartya was telling that it's more of a mirror of you know truth versus you know what uh, yeah the legend uh, versus the truth yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so um Mm, how these especially if you take bibi uh, one of those uh, yeah. characters mm-hmm. so he is if you if you look um, look at him and you know um, see ranga this there's a reason why uh, he feels more closer to bibi mm-hmm. yeah. uh, one yeah. of the yeah. reason is the mm-hmm. mother's presence and mm-hmm. the other thing is probably um, how uh he sees himself like um he's yeah. someone who wanted to study uh, initially he wanted mm. so uh, but then he was uh, no his his uncle um so we yeah, can cheat him and yeah cheat everything. we can tell that yeah. it's it's okay to share the plot is it fine to yeah yeah, yeah yeah i think i've shared a lot of the plot <laughs> no, no no we will anyway yeah, we yeah. have to discuss that yeah, so we yeah. can share that yeah but, so that is the turning point in his life so he yeah. was someone so his education is somewhere very important to him but but, but though uh, uh, he does everything that is contrary to that uh, uh, with the children till the mm. very end uh, so it is a mirroring of what he wanted to be and what he has become uh, but, somewhere but more than that i feel um, what i felt throughout the film in general was all the elements of filmmaking just came together like oh in the that most is easy way possible that like from the beginning itself there. Mm. no i was just discussing about how no, no, no. the screenplay and how how the how it was of made course. and how it went mm. Mm. right some somewhere feel that uh, it that's what i was telling initially also i think it is just the exploration of uh, that character about of ranga it is about correct. ranga correct in, in correct every correct way. no the whole thing is this, like the screenplay is for the characters only like wherever yeah. the characters want to take the screenplay they are taking the screenplay yeah, yeah. i and think this will also be very similar to when we talk about premal also which i felt like yeah, some yeah. of the decisions in the screenplay exactly. are because of the characters otherwise they might not even like yeah, those but, uh, incidents yeah, might yeah, not but, because uh, but uh, like, as amartya said there were one or two there were a few opinions i had read online where uh, they had told that um, the second half somewhere it feels uh, there is a little bit of a lag and uh, it feels a little it could have been edited well i uh, will disagree to all those i also those disagree things. to that <laughs> but i have heard and somewhere uh, maybe um, Mm. Uh, it is because how why we were i was telling that is because uh, the screenplay is so good though the story is you know uh, mm. so it feels somewhere um i won't say template but it's something uh, if you know where it is somewhere leading to uh, but mm-hmm. it's so it's still so entertaining that especially even the climax how you bring about there are so many elements as yeah. you said everything you just it just comes together so beautiful yeah yeah Yeah, so yeah. Uh, i think i and I, uh, someone had i think in bardwaj rangan in one of his interviews he had, he had told that both premalu and uh, um, avesham you mm-hmm. know one of the br- most brilliant scripts of uh, 2022 screenplays of 2022 mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. i somewhat is... agree i somewhat mm-hmm. agree yeah i do actually yeah. so that uh, treatment and that's that's what matters and that is what uh, played uh, well yeah. this for this film So, I think all this also slightly applies to RDX also. RDX is also a slightly RDX template-ish also, yeah. film, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but the mm-hmm. treatment of every scene and then uh, you know Baba yeah, yeah, yeah. when he comes in towards the end and all that. Mm-hmm. So I think it all plays into that how you are trying to achieve that certain point, but it's the journey which you are taking. It's like in Knives Out also, you know basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's but it's the uh, journey I, which, is, which is important. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. And what I wanted to say, um, how yeah, um, Amate was telling about so many uh, genres, and actually now mm. we can't place these things in one genre, and it's so it's so good and it's so refreshing. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It's like coming. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, of course, and... it's like if you're mixing genres and if you have that much of like, I'm not even going to say confidence because you can't have confidence while you're mixing. And I don't think if you have that much gumption about it, that mm. you are going to take these two disparate genres and just mix it together and just throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. And for the most part, it is sticking. That is not even admirable. That is like praiseworthy. But that but I think yeah, yeah. that shows how much confidence you have from Romanchum actually, because mm. uh, when I discovered mm. Romanchum in the mm. uh, like last year some sometime and I think it had become a certain rage like it was a big blockbuster considering mm. the budget like when yes, it came yes. out mm-hmm. last year mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, like my friends in I was in Berlin at that time so my friends were all planning to go and I was like no no I'm not interested because to me I was like. I don't know if I want to engage like in another and it's expensive to watch like Indian films mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't know. I'm not sure if the film will be like, that, like, you know, worthy in that sense. Then it had come out on OTT Hotstar, I think uh, in May. Yeah, I it's think. on Hotstar. Yeah. And when I watched that, the biggest, like one of my biggest regrets was not watching that film in theater because the whole film is set up to put you in that house. It feels like you live, start living there. It just feels like that. And it's the same feeling which happens on Amit. So I'm saying whatever majorly, like, I think he gained as a skill, uh, Jitu Madhavan, I think. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge fan of his now. From I think I was a huge fan of his from Romancha Muni. Uh, Romancha was made in a budget of uh, maybe two of... or three crores. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. compared to the, that, yeah. Avisham is huge. It was uh, like 30 crores or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, no. Avisham is even more. I think it touched like some 40, 50... But whatever they post mm-hmm. numbers the budget, and all that, yeah. so we and never know. Box office, but, which has crossed like uh, 100 uh, crores, it has joined. Uh, 150 maybe, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus but, Christ. Like it's good. But, but like yeah. what <laughs> I, I loved in Romanchem was so much of the energy that was coming with the characters. And sure. you got to be with all the characters in some way or the other way. You know, you and, know that's and, another... and Mike, and I will, mm-hmm. I'll, I will slightly try to counter what you were trying to say with uh, you know the second half and maybe mm-hmm. the not so much blending of genre i feel the screenplays and the characters are designed to be at that particular moment itself uh, like you're living that moment itself you get mm-hmm. it so maybe those arcs will not be like in real life though our arcs are not you know just mm-hmm. in the moment but, they will not have like a but it's not uh, but change. the movie itself but the movie itself like devi had said like it feels real, but it is also like just two degrees or three degrees of realism. It's like it's similarly absurd. It's no, no. It's like Ab- absurd is is okay. I'm saying when you are uh, when you're let, when the scenes are playing out. Let's say hmm. I feel the whole point is that you are in these scenes at this very moment. You yeah, right. It? Like so, yeah, so yeah, yeah, the, the logic of certain objectivity, I think, for me, doesn't play out in general. Hmm. See, not that see, you were criticizing for no no no, for no. like the objectivity but no no i'm just, I'm saying. just saying i'm just saying like uh, devi if you devi you can correct me if you want on this like i've been seeing with some malayalam movies like malayalam movies like they are most of them at least the modern ones which i have been to seeing lately most of them have a very uh novelistic approach in that they are trying to you know they spend time like familiarizing hmm. you with the world, at least for the first twenty to thirty to forty minutes. I think minutes. that yes. is a that is a very Malayalam film trope. That is a very general. Malayalam yeah, film yeah. trope. First half is just characters. Second first half, half is just characters. Like first half, I don't think it's a first half thing. I think it's a twenty minutes to thirty minutes thing before the actual no, inciting. No, beyond the, the setup, also saying I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. in the first half only it feels like you're with the characters exploring yeah, 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 in a certain correct. situation. Yeah, and I think because, my, uh, uh, yeah, it's written as such because yeah, it's written as such exactly. Place them in that situation. See, uh, Aju, Bibi, why do they or Shant, uh, uh, no, no, mm. Shantan, uh, Shantan. Shantanam, <laughs> Shantam. <laughs> uh, so why he feels? Why all the all of them feel so like? Why we feel connected to them? Whether you are from Kerala or not doesn't matter. But suddenly you place them in a situation in a hostel like that. Mm-hmm. Somewhere mm. that's why the situations and the placement is what matters. The treatment is what matters. Correct. That's correct. Why that's I think, a, so it I is, think it that's my easy. problem. I think that's my problem with this. I'm sorry to interrupt. I think that's okay. my problem with uh, Avesham and the problem which I did not have with Premalu. I could not connect with the students beyond a point. 
I could because I've seen that also happen. I have also seen thing. like, but no, I could not. I'm saying I have. It feels like I've lived in like like when I was working in Bangalore, mm. I've lived in those streets where yeah, there yeah, were these yeah, hostels. Yeah, yeah. I've lived mm-hmm. in those PGs in general and yeah, in yeah, yeah. similar rooms with like four or five people. Mm-hmm. So it feels like I've lived there. But beyond that also, I feel just mm. the the place, the atmosphere, the, even the college or even where activities with Ranga, they mm-hmm. feel like I am with them. I'm mm-hmm. a participant. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting in the fifth seat uh, with all of them. I mean, mm-hmm. you get my point. It yeah, feels yeah. like that. Yeah, so, yeah, but mm-hmm. And I could not like after i think mm. i think immediately after the first half i think i had trouble connecting with the students beyond a point uh-huh. i think when ranga is coming into the picture into the frame i'm more interested in him because obviously he's the more compelling yeah, that is there yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and he fills the frame as you he said he fills the frame yeah. exactly yeah. that yeah. one the, his his first shot when his interaction is with bimin right where mm. he goes to ask for the lighter mm. i think that is like complete amalgamation of everything coming together It's yeah. like in the frame you have Bhat Fazil just turning around. Hmm. The lighting is perfect on his face. The camera is perfect. Yeah, it's not yeah. some flashy camera move. Yeah. It's just there. His it's... eyes brighten up and he's like, "Era mona and all that." Era mona. Era mona. Chana kida and so you 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 feel like it's just come together like everything. The production design, yeah, the characters, yeah, yeah. everything. And yeah. that for me gave me so much, you know. This I was getting that adrenaline rush inside that cinema, and <laughs> I mean, I watched, watching a great movie. Yeah. I so watched I, it. In I UK. like. I <laughs> I, I had twenty five thirty Malayalis around, which was also big surprise on a yeah. Monday. I was surprised, like this is even happening. Again. And half the time they cancel all the shows and all that. So I was I was like, they won't happen only. So I just I had to book like so like early in the morning so that they play the film. But It's everything. The... It's But again. Like, I'm. I was right about was this. Just, yeah, mm-hmm. I was right about this. Like, I think half of the impact of this movie is taken out of the theatrical experience itself. Like, this Maybe, is one yeah, of yeah. those movies which is going to play very well if I'm watching it with the friends and if I'm half drunk. I'm <laughs> serious. I know for a fact that this movie is going to play extremely well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's just. But. Couple uh... of... Uh, the, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. No, uh, no, no. Continue, continue. It's fine. Sometimes no, no, we blabber on. You continue. It's fine. <laughs> no, no. When Sanjit was telling about that scene, I suddenly remember uh, how beautifully they have placed Bibi there. He mm. lights that from Bibi. So, uh, uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. uh, it's a point that I wanted to tell earlier, and I forgot is how Bibi is the most emotional person of all. He's the most sensitive kid. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, mm. His moral what... compass is there. His mother is yes. a moral compass. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. So somewhere that is why I think he is the person who somewhere mirrors, you know, Ranga. Mm. You know, how, mm. And how he's he what? Behavior. What would happen if Ranga was wasn't like deviated from his path? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What would happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also like one more thing was and that is even, done so beautifully. I really liked it. One more very interesting thing that I absolutely loved was when when we see the flashbacks and everything hmm. with with uh, of of Ranga Ranga. Like you go where he's like uh, you know milkshake shop and like you know in that very flashy soda, way soda 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 soda, soda. soda. Yeah, and yeah. even even the shots where you know he's he has his back onto you know the audiences and the characters that he's mm-hmm. you know mm. being opposing in that sense that perspective is particularly the the boy, three boys's perspective because if yeah, you yeah. see. What this is what I felt like. Not in, only that three boys, even uh, Amban, who's telling the story, is that from that perspective. So just from there. No, no. What I was trying to point was like in yeah. let's say if this film was made a little earlier, the mm. the way the scenes would have been constructed would have been different, right? They would have been totally, full fledged totally. scenes. Totally. Yes. Here yes. we see very fragmented, slightly highlights, right? The vignettes mm. yeah, in that yeah, sense, no. and I feel that is. very much the boys's perspective because it is the instagram reality of things yeah. right you see highlights in that sense you see only certain shots where you will like you see the reveal to his face towards the end when the boys also realize what this guy really is so hmm. because it is their imagination of what uh, you know correct, must correct. be happening yeah. So that your I found LSD, very interesting. Your LSD to hangover is still there, huh, Sanjeev? Instead, uh, very much there. Full on, full on there. <laughs> no, because I genuinely felt with those characters. That's why I was. I yeah. that is why I love that film. See, And see, even I wish I was. Yeah. See, I see. I wish I was because I wouldn't. Because I can only make these sorts of connections if I'm connected to these characters. I am. And not... it is very naturally critiquing. I mean. I mean, hmm. it is very obvious that it is critiquing like Arjun Reddy slash Kabir Singh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cinema. 
of course of the course. mid the mid block is during holi you yeah. know it is about protecting someone and hmm. <laughs> and my counter to that uh, screenplay thing right hmm. when and not just you i think a lot of people have said that the screenplay lags it is because of fourth fazel's energy to me i think it is the perfect analogy to mass cinema like too much of it will be tiring for you right hmm. and you do get tired even though you are in those situations like the it is high octane in the, in that car thing uh, in that mall action yeah. set piece yeah. it is high octane but it is tiring because you are like why is it like keep keeping on like going yeah, too much of it, it will comes. become guntur karam too much of it will become guntur karam yes <laughs> yes that's the opposite end of the spectrum hold on <laughs> but i'm saying that then that birthday comes in which is just maximum you know rangan if ranga effect then hmm. it is just giving you so much that it automatically for you it does feel uh-huh. tiring and i think it is purposeful in that sense hmm. that is my basic counter to people who felt a little tired and you know things and i'm telling you armadam song in cinema was a blast <laughs> i'm telling you i listen all the I've songs felt, are bangers i have seen a lot of steroids. films in- I've yeah, seen a lot of mass films in cinema, but this film I genuinely was like, let me go there and dance because it I genuinely felt like that. You know, the feeling of it was see, that's, immense. Uh, that's what see uh, the technical crew is so good, it's so important yeah. mm-hmm. you know, for especially for a big film like this or for a yeah, mass yeah, film like this. Absolutely, uh, the cinematographers uh, Samir Tahir, who is someone who worked yeah. with the uh, Amal Nir and yeah. his his visuals are you know. praise spectacular like spectacular yeah, yeah. Mm. like amal nira amal nira is so stylized like style correct correct is, stylized yeah even yeah, even yeah. vivek harshan's uh, editing, editing is editing, like yeah, very yeah. St- because he's worked with like kartik subbaraj and kartik so many subbaraj yeah yeah so exactly. you have that energy in the edit only like it's like hmm. you it's like those snaps and you um let's like, say none of the slow motions are indulgent right like correct. slow motion it's, is exactly mm, mm, exact correct. amount none of them are indulgent yes <laughs> taking the worst example possible it's not zack snyder slow motion it's not zack snyder yes. like, get done with or this it's bro. not or it's not to make another comparison and i'm so sorry lijo <laughs> it's not lijo joseph eliseri in malai kotte wale but i'm sorry it happens but it's fun there that's the yeah, whole yeah, point yeah. but it's yeah. fine yeah Yeah, different because, conversation. Uh, so that is what this. It's like they are all seeing the same dream and they are seeing it the same way. Correct. Uh, there is no, yes, there's yes, no yes. conflict at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can specifically see that you know even when you even when we discuss and even dissect a lot of things, eventually we'll come to the perfection in you know each each uh, department. whether mm-hmm. it is performance whether it is cinematography whether it is a screenplay so that is what even if the structure or the basic story doesn't have say uh, something like brahma yugam was uh, i would say i have uh, not from... seen that yet okay really? some... oh, wow. no no i haven't seen <laughs> i i've been i st- you know i started watching it i watched the first 15 20 minutes and i was like this is too intense for me i want some time to you know give it proper time and okay. watch it and i want to watch it in the right setting and not just with like yeah, too yeah, much noise yeah. around me. No, no. Mm. Take your time. I mean, it. Take your time. Really... <laughs> That's damn good movie. Yeah. yeah. So then, we'll watch, we'll watch. Uh, even the story is so good. It's so deep. There's so much of depth in it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then when you write it for the screen and you make it all the more beautiful, it's something else. So here, uh, actually, uh, when you amalgamate all this and um, how you place it visually is uh, much more important in a film mm. like. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, all these elements of how you feel, okay, this why is it here? It's not necessary. For me, actually, every scene gave me something. It's Same. Like uh, I agree. Every, it's every again scene. because it kept moving. Also, like yeah, yeah, correct, like, correct. The pace. And it's also the engagement factor. Like, like uh, every time, every time, everywhere, a movie. Like, if you're doing criticism of a movie, one of the primary, one of the primary requirements while criticizing a movie is. If you are engaged with a movie, criticism doesn't matter. If you are engaged with mm-hmm. a movie, half of the flaws mm-hmm. will skip by you because you are completely engaged with the movie. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. That's exactly correct. what happens for no, most in, most films. Uh, that's so true. And when uh, these boys try to get out of uh, Ranga's grasp, you know, each and every time they give it like they want to tell that okay, uh, we are having exams. We need okay, to. Okay, those are funny. Why those were yeah, quite funny. By the funny. way, yeah, I had so <laughs> many funny moments. Even that bit in during the holy scene only is like. He's when he's leaving, he'll tell the whole thing in Malayalam. Then he's like in Kannada. Then he's like in Hindi. Also. Hindi, in Hindi, not Hindi required. Even started, they're like they're like Hindi, Hindi. We don't need, no need, no need. 
even towards the i'm just thinking of those moments and i feel like laughing out loud because genuinely like towards the end uh climax there in the house right where he's like you know you have my take you say sorry and you say sorry and you say sorry and he's you like, need to say blessings. sorry take my blessings uh, you don't say sorry you don't say <laughs> baby take my blessings <laughs> and then from outside yeah. the window you see shajin gobu's character <laughs> yeah. he's also yeah, doing yeah. with the hand yeah, like, yeah, yeah, gesture yeah. of blessing <laughs> it is just funny because in the frame he somehow jitu madhavan is making everything work yeah, somehow yeah. everything is working because there is the characters are so well fleshed out it is like there are must i don't know what is the writing process because I, he's made the film within a year of romancha only Romanche. more or less 14 mm-hmm. months let's say so i don't know how long it took to took him to like write this but it feels like there are proper biographies to every character like that reddy character also mansoor mansoor ali khan's character mm-hmm. uh, reddy's character also felt like there is so much more to him with the with him trying to find his personality like he's taken my identity Lisa, what do i do is hilarious by the way by identity you took my identity and i like <laughs> then i mean you can see so, the seniors uh, are a little these are, throw these away, are but... very like yeah. important uh, i mean th- these are um, quite memorable and important characters actually but you hmm. take someone like um, uh, the character that uh, ashish vidyarthi played so, as a principal even Correct. that you know writing it yeah. like that even that small addition of you know see i can actually yeah, 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 yeah. ah i can actually call and tell them I the same thing go, in yeah, malayalam yeah, yeah. that was so beautiful that is what um, yeah, as yeah, you yeah. said it's like even he has a proper biography <laughs> and a proper you know art. even even yeah. the hookers that he that he calls like sweetie yes, and yes, yeah, 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 sweetie yeah. and uh, it feels yeah. like he knows them from before and even one dialogue is there right with where she says like, and how she keeps and on telling the names of the movies till she reaches chota mumbai yeah yeah chota mumbai yeah 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 and and the, there is one dialogue where she's like this guy never even talks to us like i think she, no interaction throw away yeah. line yeah. no interaction and that gives away so much about the character in general correct, like correct yeah like he's so disconnected like he detached in a sense and then he's looking for this connection with these three boys mm-hmm. Yeah. like he wants some real meaningful connection like his not just his proteges not as just his apprentices you know but just like sort of brothers in a way like you know who can i think i think even fasil i think even fasil uh, was speaking about it in an interview with br i think that uh, mm-hmm. when he was thinking about making ranga he's like ranga is different for different people like he's disconnected and aloof with some of his subordinates he's buddy buddy with amban mm. and with these kids he's looking for a separate form of connection he... mm. yeah yeah maybe something that he missed uh, during yeah. his yeah, yeah, yeah. that is what no no clearly i think the one line that is there you know ki these people these kids uh, these kids remind me of the time when i was in college and they and amban is like but you never went to college <laughs> and he says like, so do they and i'm like yeah <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love that dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, so do they. <laughs> I wanted to ask you both something because it's something Fahad Faisal told in an interview, and I also felt that when I was watching it in the theater. Did you hmm. find any uh, shades of Shammi uh, while watching Ranga? Did, were you reminded of Shammi? No, uh, not, not really. Like, no. Okay. No, you found was, you found yeah i was in i think the way he's playing with those eyes and that grin maybe i think yeah, that yeah, reminds maybe, me maybe. of of shammi but i felt the character maybe some mannerisms here and there would be similar i would say because it's I the same think, person i do think i do think with the way he calls out you know era mona like the mona he's calling out i think it reminds me more of mohan lal <laughs> not even oh. not even shop me i think it reminds me of maybe, one lal maybe somewhere oh, that was strange i never thought <laughs> yeah i think that reminded me more of one lal in one movie i think he called mone like that or something and then that's yeah he usually me. i mean he, in his uh, off screen personality he calls everyone mone so. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So even when my college my HOD was was a Malayali, so my he would call us le morning, le morning, le morning. So I I just, it just kept reminding me of that honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a thing. Uh, now in general, what did you guys think of the music? And we can talk a little bit about the form also. We have although spoken so much about oh, cinematography yeah. and uh, everything uh, working, but like anything in specific that you. I think Sushant Siam's score is banger, banger. 
what a score i mean he, he has always been great but like this score is something else like who who could have thought illuminati is a closing credit song i mean seriously <laughs> again that adds so much to his character of just being yes. smith like who yes. is he at the end man like generally yeah 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 so, uh, amazing um, soundtrack yeah did yeah, continue so- um like um he, again it's a, it's a, it's a collaboration i think the lyricist mm. name vinay vinay shashikumar ah mm-hmm. yes yes correct shashikumar vinay shashikumar ah. vinay shashikumar i don't remember the name something i it's very sorry about that <laughs> if, if he's actually listening to this but yeah please go ahead <laughs> i think it is vinayak shashikumar okay uh, so his collaboration with him so the, these interviews because of uh, uh, like so many uh, people are now talking about malayalam cinema and thanks to all all these movies so mm-hmm. there are a lot of interviews uh, when even technicians and lyricists so mm-hmm. that's actually such a positive change i would say so yeah, yeah. Uh, how much uh, of their collab- collaboration has actually helped in uh, you know a song like illuminati mm Mm-hmm. and how they had discussed it so you can maybe go back and watch these interviews they're very interesting about I mean, how the, the sad part is a lot of them are in malayalam so malayalam I, oh. it's very difficult <laughs> for me no to subtitling. i can get like four or five words here and there and make some understanding but it is you never really get the Haan, particular matlab, nuance yeah you can yeah matlab feel se nahi hoga in this case Please, like, like and you actually it's like homework you need to sit down like this yes. to watch uh, some of the interview like yeah. now i've seen so many tamil interviews that i kind of if i'm not looking also i'm like how okay maybe he means that like br interviews they don't have subtitles now like the tamil oh, they don't have okay no, the oh. tamil interviews there are so many that he's doing with no subtitles i was watching um, this um, no but like, now i think now i think he and... subtitles them so now i think he subtitles them within one or two days like before no, leo came this... out before light camera out, action yeah yeah before he, which he does mm-hmm. for tamil films i i don't think so there are subtitles no, like no. i was watching i'm telling you lover i was mm-hmm. watching this segment and there were no subtitles so i was just had to make whatever mm-hmm. i could from four or five words that i understand when leo came out like before leo was coming out the lokesh kanagraj interview was the most watched interview of br okay like Correct. so many people were requesting yeah. him for subtitles but day five he had <laughs> subtitled the entire interview and it released it again i'm like wow man. yeah no, Just, because it is a big interview like that that point interview. that film was yeah. like yeah, yeah, huge out. and even the fahad but like it's in english so it's still fine right yeah, yeah it's still fine yeah, well yeah. i don't think so fahad does a lot of interviews in general mm, in but... general yeah, yeah i don't think so i think now because he's the producer of both these films i think some promote yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah Promote, yeah, but, actually uh, doesn't require that much promotion also i feel <laughs> because it's actually already yeah uh, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, they yeah. Could, he he has collaborated with sushin a lot of time so they have mm. worked uh, so closely and it shows varadhan uh, also was sushin ah varadhan yes yes and even yeah. bishma parvam i think it's bishma sushin. that is my favorite sushin isn't kumbalangi yeah. nights also sushin sham sushin yes, sham yes, yes. Mm-hmm. great so song I, uh, he had written the lyrics for uh, well, bishma thanks. parvam also vinayak mm. shashikumar so okay it's it's how they work you can see that collaboration whether it get, like how we were discussing about the technical crew in the movie mm. the song also it's the soundtrack is so beautiful because of that mm. how it it's like um, they speak of it like it's a normal discussion like how we are sitting and discussing <laughs> a film uh, yeah. uh, create something so beautiful out of something uh, that feels so so normal like an like an ordinary discussion so yeah. how how they reached illuminati even um roma even that is on that is a real act at the end right it's on, on yeah it's a, yeah yeah <laughs> i will not leave that instagram it <laughs> yeah yep yep lsd to hangover divakar banerjee ka kaam ho gaya at least yeah even But, they work together with i mean uh, in romancham also i think when i i if i'm not wrong i think it is him so maybe. Uh, Adar Anjali Nerette there is one song I don't know Ah uh, yeah that's yeah that was at the, the end hit. that's the last uh, song right Ah uh, yes yes Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so even they're still on my playlist that is why I'm singing <laughs> Yeah So again so again these three people are again collab Jitu 
बट इन जनरल ऑल्सो आई थिंक सुशील श्याम स्कोर इन जनरल एड सो मच ऑफ लेयर लाइक दैट एटमोस्फेयर योर इट फील्स लाइक द साउंड इज ऑफ दैट प्लेस ऑल्सो Yeah, yeah. He, his scores are very, Something very. Something is very nice. interesting with that. Even in um, yeah, I mean, he is making also. a very, he is making a very relatable soundscape, related, relatable to the city itself, right? Like mm. the region itself, soundscape. It feels like that. Yeah, feels yeah. like that. Correct, correct, correct. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I think so, that uh, way. Ha, huh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, no. Uh, what I feel, he never overuses it. See, like uh, in Avesham or some something like Romans. Uh, no, not Romans. Actually, in Avesham, there is there are a lot of like it. There is a loudness to it. There is a, mm. a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an mm. over the top nature to it. So mm. you can find it move along with the script, along with the uh story, the character. There's there's a beauty to that. But mm-hmm. as, what I've noticed and what I absolutely love about Sushant is only when it is absolutely necessary. When you when you see his other films that he has worked on also, mm-hmm. does he use the score? Yeah, he does mm-hmm. play a lot with Even the silences of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I felt Avishan was fairly film. musical. I think there yes, are so many what, tracks, right? That's that's why I was telling. Like all I think around like, five five tracks at least. Five, more than that, more than ten, five, eleven, yeah. easy. No, I like, can. Uh, how he composes for something like Avesham or even Minal Murali or even Bishma Parham mm. is so different from how he would do, say, a virus or uh, mm. Kumbhalan. Oh, virus Kumbhalan. was his. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So that that's I think movie. the beauty of uh, Sushin. He knows yeah. how to place uh, his to... score. Yeah. I'm to looking very much forward the, to whatever he does next. More uh-huh. than the tracks, I actually enjoy his scores. His background mm. scores are amazing. But here, I think the background scores are the tracks only. No, the, the tracks music. only are uh-huh. layering uh-huh. the background scores. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like that. yeah. That's why I was like, this film is to me felt like a musical only. Like there are like <laughs> back to back. Like I think that's what I'm saying. There are I think ten or eleven tracks yeah. in general. So Bollywoody, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, <laughs> Bollywoody, yeah. <laughs> No, but I think they're doing it better for sure. Yeah, yeah, of course they're doing it better. <laughs> Arre, the 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 simple distinction between a film from Malayalam cinema and a Hindi, let's say Bollywood film, is just the time they take to set up something. Yes, it is. You live Night with the character Night so Night long. Yeah. To, you you watch any X film. Uh, what has come out in Hindi recently? Just take any example. You're the only <laughs> take example, yeah. <laughs> Shaitan. I have not seen Shaitan. Oh, I saw Shaitan. Why, Devi? Why? Why, Devi? Why? Why, Devi? Why? Because I've always loved Madhavan, so I shouldn't have. But oh, yeah. you shouldn't have. Alive for the day is over. Yeah, correct. So you shouldn't have. It's so bad. Oh, awful. <laughs> no, it's I'm, a 60 crore movie now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Somebody save me. It's a that is also super hit. No, I mean Shaitan also did That's so well. It. It's yeah. it's massive. It's massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I was saying like I've mm. not seen Shaitan, so I'll just take Yodha as an example. I mean, even though I know you like it, but let's just I like be it honest, because it's right? stupid. It is stupid, yes. But like I'm just saying, even it doesn't take time to set that part even up, right? It's just no, sir. Well, because half of way. the coverage should be given to Siddhar Malhotra's non non existing non moving startup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very mean. <laughs> but yeah that's the just simple distinction of how much yes. time you take to set up something and mm-hmm. delivering something that is what like if you see one i remember some watching something like dobara you remember oh, you've, yeah. you've done yeah. an episode even though i don't like that film mm-hmm. uh, yeah. i let's say i don't appreciate that film the setup the first 20 25 minutes is just so well directed in something mm. like dobara you need good directors to do something like that and it feels like we are like it's a gift if it's a good director giving you a hindi film otherwise it just the number sheer number of otherwise the not working films is just too much in that sense mediocrity is so big in this point it's like uh, expectation kaha rakho mai okay then <laughs> <laughs> what to say now yeah. but yeah, i think these are my Points. Any other points that you guys want to add, like ending, closing thoughts, and then I think we can move on to Premalu also. There, I think a lot of points will be just copy pasted in certain sense mm-hmm. about the writing. But any closing thoughts about? No, again, Avisham I think and... I think uh, Avisham itself. Uh, again, I uh, 
it's like if you are going to make like crowd pleasers i think you need to respect the engagement of the audience and also to understand that audience also needs something different right there is a reason why malayalam cinema is succeeding with each and every swing because these are massive swings mm -hmm. all of these movies which are succeeding they are also massive swings there is a reason why they are succeeding because not only there is conviction there is also sheer craft a mm. problem which many of these other industries do not have like craft ka to koi matlab hi nahi hai na aadha industries if mein. you take into notice i'm sorry mm. for interrupting no no it's... if you if you watch something like avesham and if you watch let's say again i'm taking yodha as an example yeah 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 you see the number of shots that are taken in general the shot taking in a particular mm -hmm. not just a scene yeah, like, yeah. you watch the whole film there are so many shots because mm. they want to you know put you there they want to take you and export you you know into into this world that i mean even a lot of tamil filmmakers do that i mean yeah, yeah. Uh, mari silvaraj yeah. does that so well even paranji does that so well mm -hmm. so many of them but let's say you know you have just six or seven shots or even like something like fighter they are more yeah. focusing on cuts edits rather cuts than edits. more it's, shots it's more like it's more like they want to they want to make it like like you are saying na ki they want to, malayalam cinema is trying to put you in the moment while hindi cinema is just trying to make you relieve relieve a very specific second of moment instead of letting you breathe in that moment correct correct it's trying to do the breathing for you instead of letting you breathe into that correct. moment it's like telling correct. you this is the this is the moment in which this is the only fraction of the moment which you can process and i mean hmm. nahi bhai mujhe mujhe <laughs> mujhe mere tarah process karne do na <laughs> Manga you do, Express you. does it better, ah, huh, in Hindi film. Somewhat, yes. Surprisingly, somewhat. surprisingly, because it's somewhat a, it does. Even yes. though he's a debut director, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he knew, but uh, yeah. again, Kemu is like he, he, he's uh, I think borrowing and inspired from those old school directors. Like there are lots of Priya Dasan yeah. touches in this. I think absolutely, he, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So understandable only. Yeah. Good thing. Good thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah good, Devi. Uh, yeah. So um. I wanted to say something, but I forgot. Shit, sorry, uh, <laughs> we interrupted. No, I got caught in what you were saying. Like, uh, yeah. So one one of the things I wanted to say is uh, uh, how that uh, dialogue of uh, you know how Amban would say, "Lucky man, lucky man." Every time, you know, when he refers, yes. to <laughs> and then you finally realize how unlucky he is, and you know, whatever, even though mm. he has. And even though Contrast, he has yeah. Amban also, he doesn't realize that. Even when yeah. he's cutting the cake, he gives the first piece to Bibi, and it's Amban who actually. <laughs> he <laughs> just jumps in and cuts the cake with that huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. <laughs> sword or whatever. Yeah. 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 So what I wanted to tell while you were discussing that, um, I still feel that uh, when all these things do matter, and it not just matter, it it, it is so so important, and it has to. All uh, the technical aspects of a film, everything has to amalgamate so beautifully. Only then you will get a beautiful product like um, a, a film like Avisham. But still, mm. finally, I would say like it boils down to writing. A lot of it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, when you compare it with uh, when you were comparing it with Bollywood films and how you you structure a character like Randa, uh, mm. you place him in a, a certain he he's also someone who is. uh who's a malayali who's coming from kerala and he's he's he has lived almost his entire life here so you structure mm. it so beautifully it's, it it feels like okay you understand it's the story more than anything it is the the character more than anything that matters uh, yeah. the technical aspects do support and uh, it it makes a lot of the... changing yeah 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 mm -hmm. it just builds up to it it just uh, it just but still eventually just helps So hmm. the core is still the uh, writing, I would say. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so it's you, uh, writing I is to to all. Uh, I mean, to uh, give both. a little credit to Hindi cinema also, Chamkila did have Chamkila some did have some writing. intent. Yeah, it yes, did yes. did a lot of things. So right. I didn't, I didn't watch Chamkila. <laughs> you no, should no, watch. You were, you were nice. uh, because you were, yes, yes. I want to watch, but um, you were sp speaking about some other films like Fighter or. What happens is no, no. You are correct only. <laughs> they are not working at all. No, no. Is... Yeah. Immediately, when you when you say something uh, uh, of a of a mass film or a crowd pleasing film, immediately the the attention turns to a very formulaic way or a very generic way. How to hmm. go? That's the easiest way out. Correct. So it 
I think that is what happens when when you see huge films from Bollywood nowadays, and with so many other films coming from so many other languages, people are so exposed to all of this. So we mm. become very harsh critics also of such films, and they they just become very. Yeah. old treatment uh, of you know films of, of generic storylines and templates listen we can be yeah. listen we can be exposed we can be exposed to a lot of different stuff right but like every there is a reason why something becomes a template right there yeah, are very yeah. few exactly. specific base templates through which stories get made now if you are if an entire industry now is basically basing itself upon remaking each and every south movie and trying and churning that shit out for 10 years and not But nowadays not... i i don't understand the point of remakes even sometimes you know uh, uh, we are all watching yeah, there is a romanchap remake yeah, yeah there is a romanchap oh no yes <laughs> it is called kapkapi it's called no, kapkapi no. yes <laughs> i had enough with kathputli <laughs> oh god oh god which <laughs> amartya has watched yes i have watched that movie by the way I, yes, how am i the more right. infamous with more hindi films you watch more than i do <laughs> no no i don't watch more I, than I, you I, do i have i just hey, no 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 point. you watch shaitan also i didn't watch yes, <laughs> listen shaitan i had to review you i can't do anything about it for money otherwise for money <laughs> for money yes yes 100% yeah yeah No, but again, if your entire industry is predicated upon remaking superior products from down under, and then basically hiring a writer, hiring writers who are you know taking choice elements from those screenplays and unsuccessfully trying to recreate them to current climate in uh, South Bombay, and then doing all <laughs> that stuff and trying to and trying to unsuccessfully do it all the time, this is what happens. It's uh, see um, uh, when it comes Until to Bollywood it. mass films, you know, they are. I think they are just co- concentrating on okay, which scene is going to get the most claps. If we uh, fill in this, okay, this this scene might give it other other than that. Maybe reverse engineer, no, no basically. Yeah, reverse yeah. Listen, there's there is no, no behind. Uh, there is no conceivable. The yeah. There is no conceivable way in which, of all people, Atli becomes the most successful mass director in Bollywood. I am sorry. <laughs> I am very <really> sorry. <laughs> we have, we saw no this thing. Kisi ka bhai, kisi ki jaan. Yes. In which every second of the film is reverse engineered. Yes. Literally, it's like almost two and a half hours. and every moment is just reverse engineered by feels like by salman khan only that he's like okay this second is there because we i know i will move my left hand and people ah. will crazy yeah, and that yeah. is i think the biggest but see that is what has to yeah. change that if that changes then a lot of things can on karega change <laughs> the biggest problem is the, the star system is you know it is a boon in a certain it is also the bane right Hmm. Because of them, it everything gets reverse engineered. You see, in in a, in, the, in the case of something like what Mahesh Babu does at the end of the day, right? Hmm. This hmm. last, I mean, I I remember going for something like Spider in twenty seventeen in theater. Yeah, okay. Spider was nice. <laughs> it was something different because Murugadas was directing it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. After yeah, yeah, that, twenty eighteen, nineteen, twenty twenty one, whatever he's done, Sarkaru Hari Pata and uh, hmm. something. Hari Pata was so bad, man. <laughs> oh I have God. not even taken the effort to watch the whole film. Those clips somehow. you know come in my you know facebook or somewhere so i'll mm. watch maybe but you know the all the films are exactly the same, same. the carbon yes, carbon yeah. prints and at the end of the day you you will have a failure which happened with guntur karam see, i mean it's what uh, amartya just karam, told um, like how if, if you create a mass film it doesn't mean that you don't respect the audience exactly really. correct uh, exactly Like like Guntur Karam is the hundred and twenty fifth permutation of Ala Vaikuntha Puram. Okay, <laughs> like the hundred and fifteenth exactly. permutation was Varisu. So hundred and twenty fifth is Guntur Karam. We will see another another one within within next two years. Guntur Karam at least is directed by the same director only. Uh, what's his name? Yes. Guruji. I forgot his name. How can I forget? Trivikram. Trivikram. Yeah. Trivikram. Yes. yes. Guruji, Guruji. Guruji. People call him Guruji. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, a very weird. Yeah, TV. Now, how do these films get produced? That's the another thing I don't understand. No, because production money making is a sure thing, right? No? Production yeah, exactly yeah. money making exercise at the end of the day, mm-hmm. right? There are so many people who want to get into the business. They want to put in money. They want their names associated with big stars. They want to shake hands with them. 
people would do a lot of things to... just to put in money at the end of the day and so now there's to most movies most movies don't even need to go into the theaters they make half of their money back by selling to streaming services yeah, yeah, yeah. ott if you're a star now otherwise if you're a star now yeah 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 Otherwise... i think one of the reasons why malayalam cinema is also working so well is because malayalam cinema don't have that safety net all their movies have to work yeah. in theaters now they do have a safety net with otts that is yeah, why yeah. the budget increase has happened in malayalam mm-hmm. cinema in hmm. kannada cinema that safety net is still not there that's only the only like shetty's uh, rishab yeah, shetty rajesh shetty yeah, and yeah, yeah, rakshit yeah. shetty mm. get the yeah. and like um, and like the guy who more. made yeah so the, the guy who made uh, and... sapta sagar that's the guy who made sapta sagar that's the guy rakshit shetty so I'm, only yeah, a few yeah. get that you know safety net others don't get it all mm-hmm. but in malayalam you still get like you know you have a romance of the ott safety nets you, yes. you will get some ott money at, and when the film works you get more money that's mm-hmm. what happened with manju mel also at the end of the day right yeah, yeah. nobody was buying that film and then the film is a massive blockbuster no? you got to pay extra money to mm-hmm. acquire that film mm-hmm. right so it is a game like that so your you strive to then make a great film otherwise like you know you, you put your heart and soul into making something just worthwhile even if it is at the end of the day if it doesn't work maybe like to to a certain extent it will still work as a film as a competent film right there are so many examples of that but in hindi cinema you can't some films don't even touch to that to that point that they are they're competent films and that is sadly the state that is very cannot, sadly the state yeah you cannot do anything about at this point base competence depends. base competence is so lacking in some of these movies it's like hilarious to me yeah basic writing mein to problem hai kuch kuch movies yeah. mein okay yeah. i bole which is a great segue to get into premaluna <laughs> how is that a great segue i like to good movie. writing yes. to good writing like you yes. know bad writing yeah. to good writing segue Like how writing could be done. I mean, before move, Avisham, I loved it. People should definitely watch it. I am so crazy about it. So yeah, no, Avisham uh, definitely watch it. I mean, anybody. I I it. absolutely love. I I'm waiting to watch what Jitu Madhavan does next. I hope he makes another film based in Bangalore only with some <laughs> Malayali characters, a bunch of friends for sure. Mm-hmm. I will a hundred percent watch. I'm also curious to wait and watch this film a little later. Uh, right now, I was just too excited to watch. Also, so I enjoyed it again, like <laughs> yeah. with the same energy. Watch it maybe, after the year. No, maybe when we do the best of the year list, at mm-hmm. that time I'll maybe I'll do a rewatch and see how it works. I'm hundred percent sure it is going to work mostly <laughs> for me because I I can see that sincerity. Like you mm-hmm. know, it is going 100%, to work. Hundred percent, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I think Premalu. Uh, So Premalu is directed by Girish Edi, who has previously directed films like uh, Super Sharanya and uh, Thanir Dinangal. Uh, Devi, please yeah. connect me. I am forgetting uh, the title. Tan- <laughs> Thanir Mathan Dinangal. Dinangal, yeah. <laughs> so the the synopsis of Premalu goes as Sachin's quest for love takes unexpected turns, creating a laughter filled love triangle. So we'll do the same. <laughs> initial thoughts and then moving ahead so devi please go ahead with what did you think did you watch it in theater how yeah, was yeah. the feeling in theater how was it in ott everything uh okay um <laughs> i'm not uh, a huge fan of rom coms but uh, mm. same. i really <laughs> same 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 yeah <laughs> I like something like um, say uh, Sapta Sagar is something that really worked for me. Mm-hmm. I like it's a quick simple. digression. Quick digression. Hold on. Or quick even, digression. Okay, <laughs> then forget forget that. Let I'll tell something else. Say um, there is another Malayalam film. Film there is um, um, Varane Avshamunda. It's is kind of I mean mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Uh, okay, even, which one was that? Varane Avshamunda. Is this by wait? This is by Srini. Uh, no. Vinishino, uh, Vinishino, mm-hmm. son. No, no. I ah, uh, it is from Satyan Andikar's son. Satyan Andikar is, uh, is another director. Ah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that we uh, I know. Mean, that I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah you yeah, must be even... familiar with that. Uh, do you know uh, Om Shanti Oshana? Ah, uh-huh, ah, uh-huh. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. that I seriously loved. I really liked it. Uh-huh. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, sometimes it just yeah it it I mean. it hits the mark for me sometimes it doesn't but i didn't i didn't exactly like premalu but i appreciate it because it is consistent uh, i i think uh, i'm on the same page with you <laughs> you i think i love premalu out of all three of you which is 
insane to me because I don't like rom coms at all. Actually, I like Sunnir Matan Dinangal a lot more than Premal. Okay. Uh, okay. I still haven't watched. I haven't watched any of Adi's Girish Adi's other movies. So. I, I mm-hmm. think that was his first movie as a director. Uh, mm-hmm. and the concept somewhere, uh, as we were talking about Jitu Madan also, somewhere you feel, okay, this is his book, Philip. You feel the connection somehow. That's also a love story. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, you feel, and even Super Sharni, I, I, have, I didn't watch Super Sharni. Super Sharni was also uh, like a, 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 a hit, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think so. Uh, mm-hmm. Premalu was huge <laughs> compared yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Massive. Much attention, I think. Yeah, I think it didn't it come out the same weekend as Brahma Yugam? I think it was the same so, day. Yeah, yeah, same day, day I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninth like yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 February, I remember. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm. So I Just think somewhere uh, placing Malayalis out of their homeland also work <laughs> here. Also, I think Hyderabad. That is going to happen in the next episode also when we do Manjimal and Anuj. Manjimal, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. That's, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the connect I see here. So, yeah, yeah. um, that that also worked, I guess, to a certain extent. But uh, it is a very, uh, very light weighted love story. I would say there's nothing uh, too um, uh, intimate or too personal in that sense. Yes, it is like that. Uh, and I like the fact that that's why I was telling it maintains that consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that character. It never loses the frothiness. Yeah. It yeah, never yeah, loses yeah. the light breeziness of it. Yeah, yeah. So usually what happens is uh, you meet someone so uh, ambitious or someone who is uh, comparatively <laughs> ambitious as uh, Mamita's character. I don't remember her name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mamita Reenu. Reenu, Reenu, Reenu. Reenu. Yes. Uh, so it's uh, you know Sachin, right? Sachin is Sachin, yes. Sachin. Yeah. So Sachin. Naslin. Yeah. So Naslin. if you meet someone like that, suddenly it is like okay, this boy has found a sense of purpose. All of a sudden, he has stayed gone for a character. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are not there, right? <laughs> I actually love that. that I a... loved it too. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like none of none of that hot shit. It's like no, <laughs> none of yeah. that hot shit. Yeah. Yeah, I I like the easiness of it. How he yeah. takes it. It's not my kind of love, but <laughs> I still would. I can still somewhere see. Okay, at least he is that way. Suddenly, it doesn't. Mm. And, um, uh, like we discussed about Avesh and some the, the other characters are also so. Well written in that sense. They're, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're extremely they're extremely well written and also they're extremely consistent, even if they're yes, like over exactly. the top. Even if yes. they're over the top, like say Adi. Adi <laughs> is created to a very large extent. It's like Cartoon. he's so over the top, but he's consistently over the top. It's not it's not that he suddenly he's becomes proper like, cartoon only, right? He's proper cartoon, yeah, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> how how we have Amban here is we have Amal Davis there. So Yeah, hmm. Amal Davis. Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely loved him. In fact, I loved him more than I liked Sachin. But Naslin yeah. is so good. Have you watched? Naslin is so good, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His Damn. performance is... Um... There is a you movie. know, you know the best joke. Best joke Amal Davis cracks is that scene. That scene in Vinny is Vinny, which is saying, "When did when you said that that Yuvan Shankar Raja song was bad? I was like, I will, <laughs> for any reason, I will smash you. I'm like hard relate, man. Hard relate. <laughs> and how they, uh, actually the, that even that uh, small that's what the small touches are. This is what uh, sometimes make a scene memorable. How they. Yeah, yeah. Travel in the in that mini Cooper. Yes. I really like that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The song mm. too was great. Huh? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so uh, that that uh, entire thing of how they still um, remain the same way. How there's no not much of a character change, which is what uh, 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 something like a love story like this would. It's it's less it's less intimate, right? It's less intense. So you don't expect a sudden change in either. Uh, mm. Renew or they are just being the way they are. Yeah. Uh, and I love the sequence where he, uh, you know, goes into the train and he says, he wishes everyone hi, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> in the AC compartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know how to be a bit in AC compartment. AC compartment. <laughs> that is so. That is so real. That's the character, right? So I think yeah. that, again, it's even with that small touches, that consistency is so well maintained. 
the heat the one of the one of those moments which i always think about and i laugh out loud is in that final chase sequence okay when you know when when she's <laughs> when when renu is telling to sachin that you know sachin. i have seen you already through the window and everything and then <laughs> And then, and then there like, is a big pause with yeah yeah there is a big and it's not even that it's like it's like Amal Davis looks back Amal Davis looks back and then Thomas is like you just dry <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I also like that sequence the climax portion and how he how she uses the pepper spray bag yes. it is the, it is the that was a very good touch gave, genuinely huh? a very good yeah, touch yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's so nice <laughs> yeah. And Amartya? at the end, they show that uh, uh, that the, 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 there is this bottle challenge. She was asked to throw a beer bottle, and uh, it it falls on him. Uh, that uh, coming back to that, I I really like that also. That's some oh, yeah, the destiny bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. destiny, yeah. Yeah. destiny yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, yeah. so in that uh, that way, it is kind of like a fairy tale, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's yeah. like how, it's like very much tethered to reality, sort of a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... and how Reno, like uh, when you, it's always, uh, you know, little less about Reno than you know about Sachin because mostly you see it from it's, it's like Sachin's uh, perspective. Yeah, Sachin's a lot. Yeah. yeah, but so uh, but come, yeah. you can only compare her to Sachin. So you don't really know how much of an ambitious girl she is. You just know that she's better than <laughs> better than. Uh, yeah, Sachin. yeah, she. I mean, like she's not even better. She knows that she's better, and she's like she tells no, it no, to him also. No, it's not like uh, re- you. Uh, Sachin suddenly meets this girl who is working, and he she's a you know much more matured character, or she's she, in that sense. It's not. It it's it doesn't reveal that much, right? So it's somewhere left to your imagination. You just you just come. Pair it with Sachin and say, okay, she's she, she's a much more ambitious. So when I was telling ambitious, also I was thinking, oh, is she? Is she? Because One great great touch in the film is a lot of things are just left to uncertainty. Correct, correct. Like you yeah. don't know. So much vagueness is there in so many things, and I was like, this kind of helps me relate to these people more than actually the characters. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, for yeah. me was the bigger thing. Like. If there was this vagueness that was me, so for me, I think uh, again, this is not my genre at all. In general, I would <laughs> not like this kind of film in general. So I got in watching because I was like, "Okay, this film is a huge hit. There must have been something." To me, I thought this will be something uh, like premium or something like that to that effect. Uh, when I watched it, one great thing that stuck stuck me in the beginning was the setting, which was in Hyderabad. It mm. kind of Ten years back, something like Bangalore does that come out, and to me, it reminded me of that that texture of the place, which mm-hmm. adds to the like. The realism, there's a very cool feeling mm. of of Hyderabad that is there. You don't see the sun. There's a very no. cool feeling about Hyderabad mm-hmm. in that sense, and to I felt something similar in Bangalore is also when they were when it had come out twenty thirteen or fourteen something. Twenty fourteen. To me, yeah. that was that was the more, you know, getting into the point. Then. I think I was not with the film at all until the midpoint, because I was like, I don't know if I want to be with these characters because I was not enjoying their company because I was like, why this uncertainty and why this uh, vagueness and all that. But later on, they play to this to their strength. I mean, these mm-hmm. things, vagueness, uncertainty, and then it's st- somewhat starts working better, like the train mm-hmm. sequence, the Ayurveda, like the train sequence, medicine, medicine. Yeah. <laughs> the train sequence is breaking yeah, yeah. the phone. <laughs> Then yeah, yeah, so it sort of just uh, you know tries to make it work that way. <laughs> no, like, there's something I actually since I was, I'm sorry I'm I'm in trouble. Otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, please go for it before you forget. So I like the what I like the most about is he, he this uh, his first crush his college crush he she rejects him and uh, he's already Angelia. had a few. Crushes. Yeah. Uh, And then the title card appears as he vomits. As he vomits, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. And uh, it, uh, somewhere his um, even his love, but you know, it's so surface level. Every if, as you yeah. go through the film, also somewhere it only slightly changes. It's a It's somewhere you feel it's somewhere in the middle of an attraction and a love and love like you. Correct. Know, like he like his. 
like how his entire character you hit the you is, hit like, the nail in the head as to why i love this movie now can i get you <laughs> now please please go no, for please, it please, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah why i love this movie why i love this movie i think firstly it is subverting so many rom coms i can't i can't stand i can't stand so many rom coms it is subverting so many of them okay the airport sequence in every rom com in even fucking two jhooti mein makkar there is an airport Jane sequence okay. they, they completely Jane subvert the, they, yeah yeah they completely subvert that airport sequence by not letting them get into the airport only the the scene oh. the scene happens outside outside the scene happens outside yeah and there is no big scene in which music is flowing and everything no 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 they just hug he just says he just says i don't believe it now and then she's like long distance relationship we will be late we will see uncertainty is still there yeah 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 that's uncertainty is still there before before he goes inside like they don't even get to go inside mm. and like yes every yes <laughs> yes 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 you are doing this all these me. are all, all great touches i, I mean to yeah, me yeah. i mean i'm sorry i'm interrupting you i am saying no, no. i think the film in general it's written with so much great intent so much great thought even something like the element of um, the brother what's the actor's name i forgot which is there in is there in leo also. the cousin yaar whose car they uh, get thomas 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 thomas, thomas. <laughs> so <laughs> for me honestly that his character doesn't work for me because okay i get it i mean there are laughs happening but to me that that wasn't that was a forced element so hmm. but but it is not written with that forced intent no that no, is the great yeah, yeah, and yeah. someone like someone like you you, you got that intent as 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 the as a feeling right yeah. so for you it completely works but so mm. i'm saying it's not a bad film at all it, it's not like it doesn't mm. work it works on all levels like something like the last sequence also like you're saying some mm. version no it is working for sure so mm. it's not like i i don't like the film i like it fairly enough mm. is my no is no my... i also you also have to imagine i think i think it also happens because uh, when i watch this movie uh full disclosure i had been going through one of the most stressful weeks of my life okay Your because thesis we, yeah thesis it is a stressful week of my life so mm. when that that day was when i finally came to a sort of conclusion to that day and i was mm-hmm. like i needed something to wind down mm-hmm. and this movie this movie worked for me in all levels because number one this is i think it's also partly because this guy comes out of an engineering college you know that mm. entire shit of it all okay yeah the fact that the fact that the movie begins with your main protagonist vomiting it's not it's not <laughs> the main protagonist running around playing rugby in a jersey while rain is falling and everything none of that stuff proper loser <laughs> proper loser yeah. okay his friend also is a loser who also has a girlfriend who he talks with on the phone while trying to sleep okay so <laughs> it's that but okay. there is a difference like um, i felt like amal is someone you are talking about amal right amal mm-hmm. davis yeah. amal davis yes he's, yes yes he's he's different from sachin in that yeah he's different he, he's he has different. a sense of purpose somehow maybe that yeah. <laughs> His purpose is very misguided. His purpose is very misguided, but he has a sense of purpose. Yeah, correct. So uh, that is also uh, uh, something that I felt. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
with Renu, the fact is, even though most of the movies from Sachin's perspective, what I loved in the screenplay is they don't forget about Renu. Yeah. They develop mm. her enough. They develop her to an extent that you know for a fact that this girl is so out of Sachin's league that <laughs> Sachin has no chance in hell of getting her. You know that. It's like that level mm. of uncertainty because true, true. it's not even the fact that she has like she doesn't fit any of it, any of the criteria of what she finds in a partner, what she wants in a partner. It's not even that. It's that she's so fundamentally different from him. She she likes structure. She likes to a certain extent, she likes a certain bit of control, right? Because she has and she's also very career focused because even while she was arguing with Sachin and trying to tell him, quote unquote, it's sort of a breakup kind of a situation. Even then she was picking up the phone and talking with her colleague because of, because of the thing that is happening with Adi in, in her office. Mm. So she's like, this is a woman who likes, who knows how to multitask. Because she's career yeah. focused, she knows how to multitask. Calculated and whatnot. Sanjit, I can't hear you. I, I said calculated and whatnot. Like yeah, everything. yeah, calculated and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So, so these are these are moments. These are moments. I think uh, the filmmaker and the script does, and it's not, not even done in sprinkles. It's done very well throughout. It's like hmm. you can understand where it's going. Now I understand that some. A couple of the supporting characters are either very broadly developed, Adi, or mm. they are or they are developed just about enough to work as supporting characters. Like I think Kartika, Kartika also. right? Mm. Yeah, Kartika. Mm. They are developed just about enough to be quote unquote supporting. But again, I think what really struck me is those central performances are so good. Like yeah, yeah. Mamita, Mamita Baiju yeah. and Nalsen Naslan have such great chemistry, man. That's true. It's true. I don't know yeah. how Naslain is in real life, but it felt like in real life also he will be like this be like mumbling this introvert, you know. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. And just also talking with uns like you know. Uh, I have yeah, yeah. I have watched one or two. I mean, have you watched Home? He has a small. No, I need to see. No, that no, movie. no. Uh, no even uh, uh, okay. Have you seen Kurudi? Yes, yes, yes. yes I so haven't seen, seen that either. I've seen yes, Kurudi. Yes, one of my favorite performances from Naslain. Uh, but is, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. film good enough? I was told not to watch it because it. No, didn't. no, Prithviraj is great I, I, in that. I, I Prithviraj like, is I like terrifying in that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is okay, it's it's a home invasion film. It's right? a home invasion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget everything. You should watch Tanir Matan Dinangal if you want to love Nasreen. Okay. I mean, that is his okay. debut. That is his debut feature, and he's good. so good. He's not even the main character, but he's so good. <laughs> you should mm. watch. Him. Yeah, but again, it's like I think. Uh, no, no, no. It's like Nazlin and Mamitha, both of them have such good chemistry that you understand immediately. Like, you know, the typical rom com thing that they shouldn't be together, but you root for them to be together. And even the movie, and even the movie at the end, even when they're together, the movie doesn't leave you with a lot of confidence. Ke, yes, they are together. Yes, movie solved. No, no way. Like, no, no, no. Uh, he's yeah, gone. Uh, he's gone. Even I like that. Yeah. He's gone. That's he's he's out on a touch, career. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's not leaving his quote unquote career or whatever the hell left of his career it is, and it's it's going to be a no, long no, distance. That relationship. is another thing I like. We don't know for what work he's for doing. what work he's going. What, yeah. is, he doing, going to do? what is he doing? What is he doing? We just know he's going. He's, he's I thought so surprised his visa is so like, quickly. <laughs> exactly. How yeah, did yeah. he get that visa so early? Yeah. I have suffered so much for visa shit. <laughs> No, that's why. That's why. But I mean, and I, I think they have purposefully left it uh, like that. I mean, as a long distance relationship, and it's because they want. I think Premalu Two is in the works already. Yeah, yeah, it's in yeah, the works. It's announced. Please let yeah. it be in the works. Oh my God! <laughs> Please let it be in the works. I want to see that. So movie. there were a lot of uh, you know discussion happening on Insta, and I've seen it in so many places. Like people are discussing the script of what. Are the possibilities, you know? Mm. <laughs> There's one possibility. If you are interested, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please go ahead. Someone was, someone was telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, someone was telling. Okay, when when he goes there, he'll meet someone else who becomes friendly to him, and uh, um, Mamita's character Vinu will, you know, think that uh, he's in a relationship with her already. Then they'll break off, and then Reno will go ahead and. 
um try and form a relationship with adi <laughs> something or the other and then finally the end part is uh reenu is going to get together with amal <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Okay, that's not going to happen. I can guarantee you that, but that's not going to happen. But it's such a, it's such an interesting take, you know. I don't know how Adi will re- redeem himself after the end. No, no, Adi. I don't think Adi can redeem himself because I think his character is written only like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, I correct. Mean, how are you going to redeem yourself after you try to literally bash them off the road for him? Say, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> And the best part was at the end, they're like, we don't know how to drive. Mone Mone we don't know how to drive how to drive can you drive so man I'm like oh god man and uh so they are you intro... think uh, my premal they... two will be <laughs> any any theories and ideas since amarth is so interesting i no, think no, it is I'm... going to be the same carbon copy like what amal uh, davis is for uh, sachin sachin will become for someone else in, yeah, in yeah. uk Uh-huh. and i think some complications will happen over there yeah, because definitely be... there's going to be a misunderstanding that somewhere i feel that yeah, yeah, yeah. the long distance at the end no it yeah. has to be yeah i think i think i think they might also go with the how tiruchitram balam ends like sanjeev like uh, the mm-hmm. dhanush finally goes i think uh, dhanush finally goes to uh, nitamanan's place you know mm-hmm. i think that it might also end oh. like that canada oh. in yeah, canada in or bad green screen UK. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> or or you know or you know the opposite might happen and naslin naslin will be so much of a failure back in uk that he will come back come back come to, back come to back, india come back, yeah. <laughs> that, come back to india that is such a beautiful possibility to explore right but i think yeah. the film should start just where it ends huh? because then if yeah, there's yeah, a like correct, skip correct. of some years no or some time oh, no, period no no like, no that won't oh, work i don't think know, he yeah, won't work. Do, like, no 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 candy came back no no i want to see what happened because yeah, that is what happens yes yes yeah yeah that yeah. is that no, for me is interesting like, yeah again it's like in the moment right and also <laughs> i didn't i remember the how they meet right the car suddenly coming out first of all who the hell drives a mini cooper <laughs> mini cooper <laughs> <laughs> that, that yeah, in hyderabad <laughs> people do yeah yeah it's okay. yeah first you drive that mini cooper and then you're driving it so recklessly and then like that's your intro I'm like in any other movie that would be a mass intro. In this movie, that is like a recipe for a disaster. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's true. I think Adi also explore Adi. You know, even though he's a cartoon, he's also very much like the typical MNC MNC dude tech bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, like. Our team is our family. Believe me, mm-hmm. I have seen so many of these people. I can tell you, इतना भी cartoon नहीं है. Okay, okay, this, okay. Yeah, it's not even cartoon. Ni hai. Like when he's telling to Amal Davis and uh, you know uh, Sachin in that uh, di- table, like in that table, you know, yeah. When you enter, our family has now become a dysfunctional <laughs> family. I'm like, I'm like, you know, th- this is a line they might actually say. <laughs> oh shit! Like the great joke. Yeah, it's not great that joke. much of a cartoon if you actually think about it. <laughs> it's a hilarious joke. I have to mm. admit. That CBSE joke is hilarious, by the way. Your CBSE, yeah, yeah, yeah. state board, state board, board state and CBSE joke. Ah, uh, if you come to Kerala, you can find a lot of such jokes. <laughs> CBSE, ICSE, and state. Hey, it's here also. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's here also. Like I am from ICSE and ISC. I know a lot of a lot of state board guys. Same. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am from ISC and <laughs> same. Same. Even I'm from ICSE. I we do. Oh. <laughs> So we are yeah, missing yeah. CBC and state board people oh, yeah. here. Down <laughs> looking down upon them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I also like. I think a similar thing what happens. I don't know if it is a Malayalam filmmakers thing, but how they photograph different cities other than you know Kerala, different states and different cities is very unique in a way. Like Hyderabad, I don't think. Like we have seen Hyderabad in many Telugu movies, right? But I don't think mm-hmm. Hyderabad is yeah, shown yeah, quite like a, this. Ah, uh, that's a yeah. like good choice, I would say. I mean, that's what I was telling. It feels exactly. like the texture. You can yeah. feel it. You can yeah. feel hmm. the place. You can feel the coolness of it and the breeziness of it and the breeziness of the narrative. Also, it's like also also language, right? Because language is different. It's like it's not like like in. I'm sorry, I'm breaking this movie. I'm like say Kuttavam Shiks. So I mean, they, they go to Rajasthan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kutama Shishasam, but like any Such other movie, other. 
yeah they go to <laughs> rajasthan but they are talking in malayalam with rajasthani people somewhat like you, you can't buy that somewhat right but here when they're talking with the shopkeepers and everything like the xerox machine like the xerox guys is like he's like kitna wa 50 50 kerala pe 10 ko milega hai yeah <laughs> and the fact that she asks him to pay for it yeah and the fact that she asks him to pay for it i'm like wow man <laughs> guys so... doesn't even have a see no he, there was something with the cv joke also right he wrote something it else looked on... like a ration card <laughs> ah, something <laughs> yeah oh god funny film funny film very funny film. i will like... i will give it give it all that credit for sure like it's not it's not that i don't like it it's so many hilarious moments just maybe i think the coming of it all to me feels like sometimes it's not my thing like i mm-hmm. it feels like i don't mm-hmm. know if i am going to enjoy no, no, it i think i think for me i i don't remember the last time i saw a comedy which is this effortless i i mm-hmm. really don't i like all the jokes most of the jokes land and even if they don't okay. some of the asides are so good just just okay. a simple asides like like uh, they meet their new they meet their new roommate cotton core wanderlust she shakes her hand and she's like give me a, you have a order to pay <laughs> <laughs> yeah the telescope bit which which they are they are looking at the telescope and everything and you know and he's like and he's like ah oh, as if as if as if somebody is watching me through that you know if you are a guy <laughs> You have done that once. <laughs> you have done that. You have made a version of that once. At least the conversation once. If not the action, at least the version of the conversation you have done once. <laughs> you want to agree on on stream? <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying a version of the conversation, <laughs> not the action. <laughs> See that is what you know. Uh, you uh, since I'm 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 comparing because they are almost at the same age. I mean Aju, Bibin, and Shantan, and uh, yeah, 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 um, uh, Sachin also. So uh, how different they are, how different they think about. I mean, uh, it is so authentic, and that yes, even hmm. uh, um, see for for them, if, uh, whether this this the um when they come to Bangalore, they also have their own share of. um insecurities their own ideas of what mm-hmm. it means to be a man or mm-hmm. like suddenly you get you you have to that urge to or the need to suddenly smoke and you know uh, that's that's the that's how they see freedom and that's how they sense it and how uh, in a way sachin is like i need a girlfriend i need i need yeah it's like societal yeah. it's like a societal Society. pressure on yeah. yes, pressure yes, on yeah. yes, yes. and that yeah. that is written so authentically so that's what makes all this you know so mm-hmm. even though you were that's why it it, it might mm. not have happened to you but still it is like so relatable so many things remind me how does he meet uh, amal devis again where does he meet are the word of his cousins i think yeah. he goes to he goes to give he goes to give a cake from cake. his bakery yeah 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 correct correct okay correct. very random <laughs> i'm like i'm like okay that is such a small town thing yeah uh, amal devis yeah. is his school friend right yeah. so mm. uh. you know another part which i liked is again i completely agree with sanjeet i think i think <laughs> I think I am one of the few who like the second half more than the first, because I think the first half is very structurally disjointed to a certain degree. It's like vignette, vignette things are happening more or less. It's in the second half. Like this is one of the few movies I've rewatched. If people mm-hmm. know anything about me, <laughs> I watch so much stuff I don't have time to rewatch. Okay, mm-hmm. this is one of the few movies I've rewatched. I rewatched. I rewatched the second half more, especially from the time in which he goes to his college to get the certificate, and like Renu is going to her. Renu is going to her house because oh, she has down, yeah. down because she has loose motion diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, that's what you know. There's no uh, what we were t- earlier talking about now about uh, bollywood films and here there's no formula like no vanity the, in general yeah, so no yeah, vanity no 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 yeah yeah you, this is a rom com so you know what is the best way. what is uh, the best marker the... for the fact that this movie has no vanity uh all 22 to 25 year olds are played by actors who are 22 to 25 year olds <laughs> <laughs> 
they are not played by 35 year olds who look like 22 year olds <laughs> like varun dhawan like varun dhawan and siddharth malhotra <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes i think that the bitching session will keep on going on about in the films not yes yes 100% especially because this year has been so good in terms of recent releases yeah. at least mm. for me at least like i think the hindi, hindi cinema in general also has done much better than considerably what was happening last year last yeah, year last i think year was a, last year was in general was peak show, mediocrity yes. this oh, year yeah. at least we had something like merry christmas uh, all india rank all um, india all india rank ladies. Like, lapata ladies no, LSD i'm not 2. saying they're great films LSD i'm just saying 2. my point is they're just Good they have film. good yeah yeah they have they have some interesting bits like lsd2 even maidan to some certain degree maidan, maidan correct, correct. Work, correct but the sports yeah, sequences correct. are great correct a, correct yeah. correct so again much better year than what last year last was last year for sure yeah 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 and malayalam cinema i think has a lot to you know contribute to that Unbanked, because like yeah yeah, yeah banger after bangers those are releases so it's like Uh, yeah. Oh, I I've wanted also... to ask you something. Have you both seen Rhythm? Rhythm, I have I seen. Have... I did not like it that much. I liked it fine. No, there is a slight roast of Rhythm in. Is it that? Is it that in the first the sequence? The laptop jerk off that... scene. No, no, no. 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 The first sequence with the are key to the special. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, in the yes. The opening, right? The chamber. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't Girish Yedi uh, Vinish Nimasan's assistant? Uh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. Maybe if he I was, think... he just fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think no. Vinay Chinnamani is very chill. Yeah, yeah. He is. He is. So he is even very chill. Uh, he he played a role in uh, his first film. Tani that... Matan Dinang. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I I don't. That think... was such a nice performance of his Vinay. Hmm. But mm. did you take it as a rose, Devi? I thought it was just a you know call. Well, just for fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun call. Just a correct. call. Back, healthy, yeah, healthy yeah. roast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a healthy roast. Yeah, you thought it was I'm just a call. I'm genuinely looking back. forward to watch that uh, Varshanga. I'll butcher uh, the name. Varshanga. Varshanga ke sheesham. Varshanga ke sheesham. Yeah. Also. Also, I think the music. <laughs> I think music in this was not bad, huh? By the way, uh, in Premalu. Who gave the music in Premalu? I think some uh, Vina, no, some Vina no, or something. Let me see. Let me see. The background score was the background score was really very good. good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. very song, uh, very yeah, modern, very sleek. Very sleek. <laughs> yeah, very modern. Vishnu Vijay, Vishnu Vijay. Vishnu Vijay. Yeah, yeah, very modern and sleek sort of. And the DOP was Ajmal Sabu. Also, also by the way, that entire Vishnu Baska Vijay, song actually, sequence. He has done. I think. If I'm not wrong, he is the one who gave music for Talumala. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. you know that interesting. Entire, that entire song sequence in the bus, you know, I think what. I think Guppy also he gave music. Ah, Ambali yeah. also. What? So I okay, think okay. they are in the same circle from, uh, <laughs> like John Paul George who again. Hmm. <laughs> so, Arey, that entire song. I think it's called Telangana Bomalu. Uh, that bus song. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bus song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bus trip song. What I liked in the song sequences is even in within the sequences there are funny bits. Like when when Sachin is driving the car, he's trying to peel open the banana and the banana falls. <laughs> and I'm like, even there's that one bit in the bus also. I remember when they are like they start dancing and they hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adi on his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah little, little again okay, none of those comic any of these comic uh, things wouldn't work if you look at them in a vacuum right i think just because the movie Correct. itself is so consistently light and breezy but it's it, also it doesn't take itself seriously it doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. want to pinpoint you to something it is just like yeah. maybe this is there It's yeah. not like okay, look at this, look at that. It's no, there's no pinpointing mm. as such. Mm. And the sequel to when it will come out, because of course it's going to come out. It earned a gazillion amount of money. Of course it's going <laughs> to come out. But when it comes out, I think one of the critical things it has to remember is you need to be this light, breezy tonality. You can't change it. Mm -hmm. So if you if you try to make it too serious, it's going to fall apart immediately. Now, considering uh, Girish Eddie's previous work, yeah. I don't think I I think he will maintain the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so also uncertainty to... nicely yeah. plays into the post college thing which you mentioned. Post also. college thing, of course. Mm, of that course. is how it is. Hi, usme to abhi bhi main hoon, so it's fine. It's okay. 
ಟಚ್ <laughs> 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 Great touch. Seriously, great touch. Yeah. yeah so I think you've been praising only the film. There's nothing much that I've said that would deter people from not watching it, actually. No, no. I think it's a very fun film. I, I, mm. I do think that it is sometimes so slight that people might be put off by the fact that there is nothing quote-unquote serious about it. But I think it is sometimes it becomes slightly too slight. And I think the first half is a bit too disjointed for its own good. But overall, I didn't mind it because by the time the second half rolls in, it slowly starts to coalesce together somewhat so it works for the most part i think hmm i mean uh, have you seen joe and joe i have seen it i haven't seen it no i have I, seen I, it i love the movie i love that movie <laughs> that also has thomas no in it uh, thomas the and yeah. nasleen is also there in that correct 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 but uh, that is also very fun that movie you know initial part even that film it, also uh, takes like it doesn't take itself seriously correct correct My... but it worked for me i mean it works so well for me yeah mm. but no, there's also to... that pull relatability to... factor if if you have a sister also mm. in general an older sister <laughs> genuinely i, I feel that this. i need to watch these uh, not taking itself too seriously malayalam malayalam fun one movie you know ಮುಕುಂದ he is ah, a great episode. director i yeah, am yeah, looking yeah, forward yeah. to his new film no, kunda nonni associates is a fantastic movie brilliant that that is a film i recommended to my father also and he also like you know watched it and liked yeah, it so yeah. Yeah, if yeah, he yeah. likes it, then that is a little litmus test for a film working universally <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but girish edi has another film called i am kadalan uh, ah that nasleen oh yes 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 it's coming out oh, this year oh that's yes. from girish edi okay Yeah, it's yeah, coming yeah. out this year okay, okay. yes in june good another thing internet. to look forward to in otd because it's not coming here so another thing to look forward to in otd yeah. i mean i don't i might be in hyderabad at that time so i'll watch it probably mm. uh, but even uh, june is packed june has dhanush movie also which i'm excited no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. kubera i'm right. digressing but <laughs> kubera right i think or no no or... not kubera the one which he directed just now ryan ಶಂಕರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ it's a given <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. indian 2 if it releases i will be shocked but okay <laughs> i remember waiting for 2.2 and then i went on first day and such a i was Same like why thing. did i wait for this film for so long paid so much money for ticket <laughs> yeah it was such a it's fine uh, i don't ever you know at this point i am loath to spend my tickets film uh, money on film tickets unless somebody is paying me money to write a review on it otherwise i'm not going even if it is a good movie or whatever I'm <laughs> really man sometimes it's like I can't trust movies nowadays <laughs> did, did boy in the heron come come out in siliguri yeah it came out in came out in siliguri but it's like 340 mm. rupees i'm like no thank you <laughs> although i would see see one part of me would be like you know it's a miyazaki movie at the end of the day you yeah, can watch yeah. it in cinema right no no that but like one great thing but yeah yeah but like you you gave this you gave a same mixed reaction i think one of our one of my friends who you also know mm. gave a mixed reaction and i'm like okay i'll wait for in ott i'm completely fine with waiting for this in ott I think it's coming out this month only on OTT. June this month or next month, me next month only. I think uh, Netflix me aaja hai. Sure. Okay, mm. okay, okay, okay. Anything else you guys want to add about? I'm actually a little more. I think I've you've more reiterated most of the points that even I had in my head about the <laughs> film. Do you have more to say about it? No, Premalu. 
Uh, no, I think, uh, it, again, I'm just shocked that I liked a rom-com so much. I didn't expect to. Yeah, even I'm shocked that you liked it so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect to. Like, like see, my, my uh, how do I put this? My image in the podcast and everywhere else is like, is some hard-ass, hard-ass person who doesn't like anything. <laughs> okay, so, so the fact that I am liking this is more than surprising even for me. Like, mm. I know all the flaws, but the, again, I'm re-watching a movie. <laughs> that should be enough. That's huge, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Actually. should be enough. But, yeah, but I genuinely think that, <clears throat> again, I know I'm against remakes. Like, I know that this is a movie which could be tailor-made for a remake. I think if Studios it is tailor made. To, it is tailor made. Like if studios are going to buy rights for remakes, they will buy rights for the remakes. There's My a Bangalore own... Days remake also. Did you did you guys know about it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know. Yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it has Bengal sector Josh. There, there are no <laughs> limits to remake. Remake can Stone happen Man, anytime Stone, at any day. Stone Man Josh. All <laughs> I'm saying is, if you guys are remaking Premalu. Please cast actors of that age. Please, for the love of God. One of the reasons why Premalu works is because the actors are young. They embody the insecurities which the characters feel. I'm yeah. not going to buy Sachin if he's played by Varun freaking Dhawan. <laughs> or Vicky goddamn Kaushal. I'm and not going they to take, buy. Uh, this guy, no. Uh, or Karthik Aryan. I'm not sorry. Karthik Aryan. Are, this guy, yaar. what is his name? He's there in Archie's, yaar. Oh, oh, oh. Amitabh Bachchan's grandson. Are, are, are. No! Are. You'll buy that. You'll... Oh, no! Also, also, yeah, yeah, young actors and also actors who can act, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Hire the kids from School of Lies. Go ahead. Those are, those oh, are yeah. good kids. Those can act. Great those can act. actors. Great that actors. Is, that is something else, actually. Um, Even in Avesham and uh, this movie also, there's so many new, new faces. Mm. Avesham, the most of these kids are influencers, right? Like, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one of them, no? Hipster. Hipster, I think. No, 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 even, even the guy who plays BB, uh, he's also... He also uh, he's does... also big. Uh, no, in this YouTube, um, he has a channel. They, he's part of a, you know, team. I so... mean, they got a big uh, opening also, right? Q2 star... Uh... Uh, yes, some, yes, some yes. In the beginning, I forgot what was the title. But these, these are ch- people who are actually probably somewhere interested in acting and are also are talented. They so are talented. Uh, Devi, uh, Devi, I don't think any influence. Devi, I don't think any influencer is there who is not interested in acting. The reason why <laughs> they came in front of the camera is because they want to act. <laughs> no, that picking the right people. It's very important, yes, and it's uh, and they have done it beautifully. See, uh, I'll give a I'll give a very pertinent example. I was instructed to review an Amazon Prime show called Dil Dosti Dilemma. Has it, have any of you heard <laughs> yeah, of it? Yeah, I've I heard, have I've heard, heard, heard of it. It's got an influencer only who has. It's got a massive like influencer, Anushka Anushka Sen. She's I don't know mass- which rock under I live in. I don't even know of her. She's a <laughs> massive. Again, I also I don't didn't know. know of her. Again, I didn't, I didn't know, know of her. I searched for her. She has like millions of followers. I'm like, I got it. Kao is me. Kao <laughs> you know, they, even uh, the, one of the actresses in uh, Lapata Ladies, she is also an influencer apparently. Yeah, yeah. Nitanshi Goel, I think is an influencer. Yeah. Correct. Even, I, was, I was like, who, I when know, did she no become idea. an influencer? Who is she? I have no idea. So, Dil Dosti Dilemma, uh, Anushka Sen is a decent enough actress. I think supporting mm-hmm. her, her two friends were also very good actresses. But okay. then the romance she's having with the guy you clearly know that the guy is 10 years older than her. It looks like they're so, not romancing. They're wait, 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 wait. The context of the show is what school and all that thing. Yeah, only. yeah, yeah. Wait. They are basically South girls. Coming they're of age. Basically like Bangalore, Bangalore elite classes. But she is being sent to her grand- grandmother's house who lives in a poorer, poorer, chal version of Bangalore, which is again, Tibri Road <laughs> or something. And she has to learn how to become normal. Uh. I'm like... Sometimes I hate my life whenever I try to give you this sort of stuff, but it's quite charming in some instances. It's quite charming. It's better than Indian police force. Oh, God, yeah. I, okay. Amartya, you should write the synopsis in IMDb. Listen, I know most people say that. Like, I, I, I explain best bad movies. Bad movies, I explain a lot better. Yes, apparently. I don't know. Sometimes my frustration gets the better of me. Yeah, I won't work. 
ஒன்னிங் <laughs> Would you like to recommend yeah. it? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't exactly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be as excited as Amartya in <laughs> recommending it. But yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, as, as I said in the very beginning itself, I love the consistency, whether it is mm. the right characters, yes, the yes, performance. Yes. That was that is one thing that worked so well in the fo- film for me. So mm. whether you like the genre or not, like me. somewhere exactly uh, yeah 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 but mm, you could appreciate it that's one big plus of uh, premalu i think mm. i think any bollywood romcom fan is definitely going to love this i i genuinely think like so. from mid 2000s or whatever like yeah 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 imran khan was doing at some point like, so that's is... what i'm that's what i was telling to you know our co-host anyway like the biggest <laughs> bollywood romcom fan alive you know what what <laughs> is Yeah yeah what what's Premal do like you are going to love it anyway you lo- you yeah, love some of the watch, sh- you love some of the shittiest rom coms anyway so it's fine you might actually Say, come on one. yeah <laughs> don't miss yeah, that yeah that's that's the beauty of these films whether it comes to Premal or Aavisham it doesn't follow a formula doesn't exactly follow, right hmm. it just in fact uh, and it is not like uh, somewhere uh, they are trying to forcefully break out of something nothing hmm. like that yeah They're yeah, just, yeah. they're just there telling a story in the most in the, in the best way possible without thinking mm-hmm. much i some best way that i think that conviction is missing in many industries that thing about yeah, just yeah. telling a story they are so bought down by the minutia of template following a template the reverse engineering, reverse engineering. exactly yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. that is the like, biggest problem yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. because, the, because the i think of uh, what works and what what won't what work. kind of songs yeah. also work mm-hmm. you know like yeah, yeah. it's too much of a like an underdog to boundaries and then you will always be restricted by boundaries you'll yeah, never yeah, yeah. break Correct. those boundaries to make like a great film or any yeah, like an point. underdog story I, I think uh, uh, one change. thing uh, that uh, one one change here that that such a positive changes is all these films are produced by uh, people who have so much of uh, knowledge about cinema whether it is even actors mm-hmm. like uh, Fahad mm-hmm. Fazil or you know uh, Dilish Potan Dilish, Shambh Dilish Shambh Potan yeah, even yeah, when yeah. you when you take Kannada films they are all produced by uh, Hombale films or uh, you no know, uh, mm. Shetty Rana mm. yeah so uh, that that makes a very very huge difference i think correct correct that is why sensibilities are, you know, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like mm-hmm. aru jivitam was possible i mean we'll discuss it for sure because there's we'll so much to talk sure, about yeah. the making about mm-hmm. the film and we know if prithviraj wasn't attached to the film the film wouldn't have been the made, film wouldn't have been made. Yeah. they raised 70s crores for a film at that time like 2019 2020 at that time did the movie make money So did that is it did, it did it did it did huge hit. yeah 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 no, nice i'm glad nice i'm glad 16 yeah, yeah. years say a movie bana raha at least it made money good, so, good. see that is the good that is the good side of our that's i don't know yeah. how to put it that's the good side of uh, using your star power or you using your yeah, yeah 100% uh, yeah 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 for the right as, reasons mm-hmm. yeah as much as as much as people might not like <clears throat> prithvi raj for many reasons i know i know many uh, act, many people <laughs> don't like prithvi raj for a lot of i have no idea why but uh, i think the fact that he had been attached to this movie is one of the reason why the movie survived for so long yeah mm-hmm. yeah definitely yeah even in the mm-hmm. conception stage to the True. making stage to the yeah. delays and everything else Yeah, yeah and that, yeah. it has it has also i think it has also entered the 100 crore club uh, like 150 uh, is it yeah, 150 yeah. crore yeah 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 i'm glad man that's good good I movies should a... work honestly good movies should always work that's, that's 100% yeah i think that's the that's the, that's the mm-hmm. great takeaway in general i think that has happened uh, good films are sort of working mediocre bad work is bombing i mean lapa the ladies although i know it didn't Uh, work. I'm talking. It didn't like work hundred percent for everywhere. all of us, but I'm glad that it worked at least. Movies it like worked at least. Work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I think this is a very slow start for even Tamil films in general. But mm. films like uh, Lover, I think, did fairly. Yeah, yeah. Lover is a nice film. Yeah. Decent budget mm. film. 
so mm. i think there are these small small gems that keep on coming something mm. which didn't work again in kollywood was again um lal salam which lal when salam. the filmmaking is bad then the film is bad and which one was lal salam again aishwarya rajnikanth aishwarya rajnikanth directed oh, with okay, rajnikanth okay, okay. cameo got it got it got it, got it. Yeah. understood yeah. it has some cricket vishnu vishal is in it i think yeah 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 mm-hmm. okay. So but I think Premal yeah. is such a huge success. I mean, uh, the budget is somewhere around eight or nine crores, and yeah, it's correct, already correct. in the hundred crore. One thirty six or something. I mean, if they don't make a sequel, that would be a bad business decision. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they know there is some money definitely coming in for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred. Yeah, yeah. They'll make yeah. enough to recoup that budget, whatever they put in. I think. I think they will increase the budget such that they will so that they can shoot Nasrin in actual UK or some shit like that to at least show you know. Hundred. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for her that did put so much money in Avesham because yeah. it looks like yeah, it is yeah, very. Yeah. There are so many night exteriors and no, you are yeah. shooting night nice exteriors, mm-hmm. setting up those lights, you know, overhead with cranes and mm-hmm. all that. It costs a lot of money, and you cannot shoot those scenes in like one night, right? You have to sh- you have take to, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. last action sequence, let's say for example that. It must have taken them so many days to film so it. So many days, yeah, yeah. Also, the yeah. last action sequence is great, huh? That choreography, the last action sequence yeah, in yeah. Avisham, great work. I mean, see, that's like catharsis like... for me, you know, when I was waiting yeah, for yeah. that fight waiting to happen. Waiting for him to actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. break away and uh, do it. Mm. So it takes, you know, it takes money to, you know, film and do all these things. And again, as I was talking, like Avisham has so many shots. Like there are just and just visualizing one shot, just taking one shot takes so much of time. I mean, yes. when at my level, when I am doing something, it takes thirty minutes to. I'm talking like a very basic average. It's never <laughs> like a solid number, right? It you can never say it takes like five minutes or ten minutes, but it takes thirty minutes to do on my level. But like when you go on that level, it's like mm. three four hours of just setup. You know, mm. it's like crazy amount of time that goes into it. So that way, when films like these then succeed, when there is intent, when there is. making that is working everything is coming together and just and yeah. the, it's a happy situation it's like how um, i was t- telling earlier about mamuti if you see fahad's choices as a producer even it's mm. so, it's so good i think vartan is also co-produced by him i think so yeah i think yeah. so yes 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 yeah. kumbalangi and even the, um, mahesh narayan's uh, two films have you seen see you so i have seen i have seen yeah which yeah, one which one It's on the see computer you. screen, the whole film. Oh yeah, yeah. See you soon. I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you soon, Mahesh Narayan. Nice yeah, uh, nice film. Yeah. And Malik also he plays. Malik. Malik Kunj is also, I think. Malik Kunj, Kunj, you need to see. I have heard good things. Yeah, that is very things. interesting. And then uh, you I, go on and produce something like Premalu or even. Uh, yeah. I think Falcon Thank is also. Joji. Sangam. Didn't yes, jo- yes, didn't yes. he produce yes. Joji also by Joji. them? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many great titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful choices. Hmm. What else are they making next? I'm like now I'm curious to just see. I'll just Google right now only and see what else are they making. Hmm. Again, it's also because Devi, like I know Sanjit is saying that the OTT is a big safety net for Malayalam films. I I do hmm. think that they are still working very much on the model that if we don't make a good film, nobody is going to come to theaters in the first place. So we have yeah. to make a good yeah, film. Yeah. Like that and only, con- uh, only when there is a proper story that they are, or when exactly. there is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, then they proceed and make. It's not like okay, now, now, next, next, I have to make something huge or next, yeah, 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 yeah,
okay mm. people people just wish each other on social media and in the back they don't want any film to succeed so they are like big films will get this much spaces in theaters the little films won't get any show times in theaters <laughs> at all anyway it's not like the industry is not dying it's already dying yahan par show time the show time leke kyu khel rahe ho but but mm. that's not here right many of these industries they they are supportive of each other i think all what happens is there, there are always these cycles Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, even even Malayalam no, cinema has gone through this uh, downside. Actually, more than cycle, supportive right? of each other, I feel that they are supportive of good content or good stories. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. that sensibilities that bring them together. Sensibilities and, con- and yeah. conviction and conviction that also, they can make content that, because there yeah, are writers yeah. in there. Simple thing of you, the the people who you hang out with. the more you know nurturing things will be in general yeah yeah That's... if you if you're stuck within that same cycle of same cycle exactly. of people and regurgitating mm-hmm. those same ideas correct ho, correct yeah so then what's the then and no, then you I see can, something like i can i can actually every time i see a good film like say i see something from fast pass like i can see him uh, you know uh, that the entire crew sitting around a coffee table and having that discussion the initial discussion probably whether it is dilesh and correct. shyam correct We see them just as friends selected. hanging out. Yeah, even Ashok Abu you... is in the same circle. Yes, I'm yes, assuming, yes. right? Correct, mm-hmm. correct. Like, yeah. like even a serious movie, like maybe like Atom, Atom, Atom. Oh, Atom is brilliant. Atom is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Like, like oh, it's uh, like uh, like on the off chance, it's just a Twelve Angry Men based on Twelve Angry Men, but it's so much more than that, and it's yeah. all mm. and it's all conversational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we discussed about it, it like last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, the part yeah. one with Atom and Pramod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, Brahma correct. Yuta. It's a great yeah, plug yeah. into that episode. If people yeah, haven't heard that episode, people part haven't heard one. that episode. Please, please listen. Yeah, to it. please listen yeah. to it. That there's Brahma Yoga and Atom, uh, Atom uh, discussed yeah. with Devi yeah. and uh, Drok. Drok, yeah. You were yeah, there, the, uh, Martha. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. When Sanjay was, was mentioning Tangam, I suddenly remembered. Oh, there's Atom this year. Even last year there were a lot of such small movies. Yeah. Which are mm-hmm. many. I, many. I, I I really like Rekha. I don't know if you have seen it, Rekha. No, no, you did mentioned... tell us in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd mentioned it. Uh, I didn't. Know. I really like it. Even it, um, last, hmm. I think it was last year. Krishan's movies also there last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Purusha Pradam. Pradam. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have your list on my diary still. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I need to see Krishan. Twenty eighteen movie. I love. I love this MPB. I love that MPB. MPB movie. That movie was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie was amazing. Sure. Yeah. Any more thoughts on yeah. Premalu or see, anything see, that you want see to see? Both of see both of these movies, please, please, for the <laughs> love of God, see, see these movies. See good movies. Don't complain that you are not seeing good movies. Good movies are there. Good you just need, yeah, you just need to get past all the uh, language you don't understand. You get used to reading subtitles and just. Understand yeah. cultural specificity. You will learn, and you, you will, will get into it, it very easily. That very subculture, easily. you will get into it very yeah, easily. Yeah. It's not that tough a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good movies yeah. are fun. Good movies. Are I mean, good movies will reach out universally. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, right? Exactly. If, if my father can sit and watch something like Mukundan Unni, mm-hmm. then I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's a it's a great story to reach. I mean, my father enjoyed Maaviran last year as well. Like so, Maaviran. Maaviran was that kind of story. So it has it. I mean, I'm forcing him to watch now this. This thing only, um, Premalu and all these films to like you know sit down and watch these films. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. That's his choice at the end. Yeah. But uh, have any but of you I'm watched sh- Fallen? Me? Yeah. No, 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 I need to see I, that. I, I yeah. on, uh, yeah, I need to see. It's that, a yeah. very. I mean, it works so beautifully for me. I want to. I want to know how it will. You know how you will be able to resonate with it because mm. I am from Trivandrum and. Uh, It is. Okay. Um, it is about a family who is from Trivandrum, and it it is done done so well. Uh, mm. I mean, I I mm. want to know if I want to know your opinion. How okay. done done done. What yeah, what was the Rajiv Ravi movie which was also in Trivandrum? Uh, na- his second film after. Ah, uh, Nan Steve Lopez. Nan Steve Lopez. That is also Trivandrum, right? Yes. The yes, police yes, headquarters. Yeah, and, yeah. and we discussed about it. I think we discussed in Rajiv Ravi yeah. episode. Another great plug into that episode. Another great plug in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a Rajiv Ravi. <laughs> to that Rajiv Ravi episode. episode. Yeah, yeah. Please, Please listen, listen to, to that, that episode, episode also. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are usually shows... quite informative and funny in most episodes, so please Sometimes. listen to those. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we are. Also. Yeah. Now, now we are sounding like the uh, movie Prem Alone, na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, meta ending. Uh, okay. Uh, I think this is the end of the episode. 
uh, we've discussed fair bit about both the films in detail what works and very less that doesn't work in both these mostly works mm -hmm. in all spheres um mm -hmm. both films are now on streaming platforms on one uh, premulu is on hotstar and avishyam is on, is on prime, prime. please mm -hmm. go watch them I highly recommend would highly recommend to watch those films uh, lots more to come in the next one one and a half month more new episodes are coming there's also malayalam roundup part 3 that will be out very soon after this episode uh, there's also a great episode with dhruv and sanket that is coming out uh discussing rmn and old oak the old oak yes uh, so please check out that episode as well thank you so much for listening you can follow us on instagram at kunesdead.filmpodcast you can follow uh, devi on her instagram page at film film.trans amartya on his instagram page at amartya25 you can follow me at pixel_baba thank you so much for listening this is the end of the episode uh, khatam <laughs>